right? Because we could actually start to actually get into the meat and bones of this, okay? Because prior, all right, of course, the boys, all right, we always have debriefs, all right? We always discuss what the fuck we're about to get into before we actually, like, just dive in okay we don't we don't come unprepared okay we do our sh our research research that shit all right we do it right we do the due diligence okay we don't we don't we don't do the tier list ahead of time guys by the way we, we don't we don't oh, no, like, yeah the, the tier yeah. list is 100 live yeah yeah we always try to make sure we don't even really talk about it too much either all right so as you can see i have the tier list in front of us all right now you guys can see it okay and again this is i'm gonna so I'm going to scroll up a little bit just so you guys can see the great work. My man, Technique. Shout outs to the Technique. Okay, put it all together. I did the last one. So I guess it's fucking Isaac's turn next yeah. time, I guess, right? <laughs> all right. Yeah, I know my TK's on there. That's it. All right. <laughs> so, so you guys have a very clean presentation of every single Black Ranger. And um, we're, this is not about race. Just in case that wasn't <laughs> obvious, okay? This is clearly about the color black Power Ranger from the respective seasons that we have Black Rangers. So, I said a segue, why? Because we're talking about, you mentioned Macedon Sentry. Is Macedon Sentry actually a Black Ranger? And the answer is fuck no. Wanna know why? <laughs> because Sentry makes up a bunch of sentries that is a part of an army. And an army to my regard, is not a fucking ranger. That, that is, is definitely not what Jason pulled out in that episode. Oh, man. Come Wait, on. you talking about the comic? <laughs> no, you talking about in the special. Uh, that's this not an army. An army. <laughs> <laughs> so, so by that, by that regard, I would like to get one thing out of the way. As you guys might be familiar with, for those that are returning to the stream, to the tier list, you guys are, are aware, we do run some tiers that are very familiar to the fans and the folks at home. We have, of course, have the S tier. We have the A tier, the B tier, the C tier. And, of course, very at the bottom, which is probably going to belong to a few of these rangers, is the trash tier. The infamous trash tier, okay? My favorite tier. The, exactly, right? It's like it's the next favorite tier next to S and S+. Plus. And in the past, there's been times where we have actually gone and created S+, plus in emergency mm -hmm. situations, okay? So, with all that in mind, I would like to also get the last bit of, you know, thing that we're talking about out of the way. We have a section that's brand new that we might have to feature in future Ranger specific color tier lists if it ever comes up is the not really considered a black ranger and who who am i really referring to it's kind of referring really towards uh daishi and jared um and it's also uh looking at the phantom ranger and magnet cycle black what about cycle black <laughs> oh black i get i mean i i guess that too yeah um but you know again it's like that's a villain kind of like how yeah, daishi I'll was I feel like at the end, Daishi, you know, he, he was good, but I, that's what that's kind of what I was considering at the end. Exactly. So, 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 yeah. So that's what that is what uh, we decided to. We wanted to at least emphasize and showcase these not really considered a Black Ranger, but you could kind of treat this as like the honorable mentions, just because they mainly rock a lot of black on their suit. Um, so yeah. Um, so yeah, so, so boys, let's do the thing. Let's get right into it. Why don't we just get right into it? So, so, so shall we like discuss each person down the line one after another, or should I just kind of throw them up there? Sure. Yeah, you can do that. Okay. Listen, you can, I mean, two of them are easy. We know who the best is and we know who the, one of the worst is. Absolutely. I might say D was one of the worst. Absolutely. Should we just start with the best? Should we start with the best, the most obvious one? Just, just might as well. Just, just get it out the way. We did it for Tommy. <laughs> All right, let's, let's just go ahead. There we go. Chill is done, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. Oh man, this is this is the this is the whole reason why we're here. Everybody, let's go ahead somewhere. The top and the bottom. Take All right. Back to back. Absolutely. So, of course, without explanation, I mean, we yeah. might as well just save it for for later. Yeah. But at the top, 
is Adam, okay? 100% Adam. Adam Park, okay? This is not specific to any of of his black forms because my man was my Mastodon. He was Ninja Black, which is a lot of people's yeah. favorites nowadays, okay? Um, and yeah, and then he was green twice after that. And then he came back as black two more times in space and in Operation Overdrive with Carlos... We're gonna reserve Carlos. Yeah, we can talk about him. Later. Because I just, I just, I just feel like Carlos is going to have the biggest of roast sessions that we've had in quite some time here on the Power Rangers Academia. Oh my god, right on time. <laughs> Hey, and shout outs, shout out to the Geek Out Squad. I miss you guys. And shout outs to Fear Chimera, the freaking greatest Carlos representative to date. My, my man stays out here representing the wackest, the wackest right he now. Pl he, he plays Mastodon Sentry, and his favorite Black Ranger is Carlos. Like, you can literally not have the worst takes. Like, the wor any worse takes than that. That right there is terrible. Absolutely. That right there is 100% terrible. Absolutely. fucking Absolutely. All right. So we're going to, and, and like I said, we're reserving the explanation for why we're putting Carlos directly into the trash tier without even fucking questioning it. Because like we said, there's plenty of, there's literally so many reasons, so many reasons. All right. And the, and I will be, and I, here's me being nice right now. I will actually forewarn those that he has a slight chance of getting bumped up to C or even being, he'll have a D tier, or we might just consider that tier. He had some nice ass hair tier and that's it. Right. We'll give him credit for that much. Okay. Yes. Got to. All right. So Will, I'm throwing him in trash to start. Oh yeah. I'm that that goes you. without saying. That yeah. that goes without saying. He look the season he was in. That's enough. That you don't have to say anything else. That's <laughs> it. Single character. That's in, it. In Operation Overdrive is going anywhere higher than anywhere trash, higher than any tier list. Absolutely not. All right, next up, we got Jared. So, of course, like I explained earlier, Jared and Daishi sharing the same palette because, obviously, both of them would have been in the not really considered a Black Ranger category. So, this is, again, a guys, an honorable mention. This is not demeaning or buffing them or for whatever reason. Obviously, we love Daishi to any degree to the point where he was oh, yeah. highly requested and got put right in to Battle for the Grid Season 2, Okay. So, uh, let's see. So, Master Swoop. Master Swoop, obviously, definitely a Black Ranger. Jungle Fury representative. Mm -hmm. One of the very few American, uh, yeah. you know, created Rangers. Yeah. So, that, so, that's a big shout out um, to that. So, uh, you know what? Well, so here's the thing. I have, I'm going to be honest. I've watched Jungle Fury once. And I, when I say I watched it once, I watched it through fully one time. And it's been a while. Mm -hmm. You guys probably seen it sooner or more recent than I have. But from what I what I remember from Jungle Fury, as far as this guy is concerned, is he was like a spirit ranger. Mm -hmm. He was he also Oh go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, you got it. He, uh what is the blue ranger name? I forgot his name. He was also his teacher. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna go into that saying like the the the, the main three had like their like Yo. teacher ranger spirit ranger like mm -hmm. that would they which they summoned at certain points um so yeah i mean mm -hmm. i don't really have anything bad to say i guess is where i'm going Same. with this so Yo, i will say one thing that was od about master swoop what's up is that he was blind yes he was the only blind <laughs> power ranger yes. that was od yes. i thought that was, yes. was homeboy was kenshi Yo, that's I'm fire. saying he was the bad ranger. And he <laughs> yeah. was blind. That is, that is actually fire. I, that alone makes you, he can't be lower than B for me. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's I'm fair. Is, uh, that is fair. I'm actually okay the with power that. Power Daredevil. Isaac, what do you say to that? B tier. I was thinking like, honestly, I was thinking C. Okay. C. I mean, C is not bad. And then, and then, it's not bad. Sure I mean, that's fair. So uh, the reason I say I C is because of the his competition, and I don't think he's better than yeah, that's what I'm on here. So okay, all right. So that's, that's so fair. we'll, we'll throw him in. Yeah, so we'll throw him in C for now, and we'll see based on where everyone else goes. You know. We'll, yeah, that's fair. We'll go from there. Dylan. Now I think I think Dylan from RPM is definitely one of the Yo, one of the higher yes. end ones. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's A. A. He's A, 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 A yeah. I'm yeah. rewatching RPM he's right A. now, and Dylan is OD. He is he's A. Yeah. It's kind of funny because, like, in the beginning, you don't really know that much. 
even about the main rangers do you know like before the first it was the red blue and yellow you yeah, know more about dylan and ziggy than you know yeah. about them in the beginning. yo kind of funny. you bring up such a great point because that's exactly how i felt when i was watching rpm when i watched yeah. it like like the the show to what if my memory yeah. serves me correctly the show starts you off yeah hit, watching him like there is no red blue yellow yet it is <laughs> he's the main character of the show basically Pretty much is, yeah. Like, I mean, a lot of the story is based on him. Like, yeah. Tanea Seven, his relationship with her, and like, yeah, it's a lot, yeah. So, <laughs> He's damn the main character. <laughs> how I'm viewing this and how, how I put it together in my head, right? There's some qualities that will make a great Black Ranger, just any great yeah. supporting Ranger, right? Right, right. Um, one of them is potential to be, you know, potential in leadership. Okay. Right? The impact mm -hmm. that they have in their respective seasons or just Power Rangers history. How they are out, oh, yeah. how they are outside the show, ah. right? As the actual. Um, I don't care about you know, that as much. I, I understand, yeah, but you know, let's see if they, you know, yeah, they're no, better representing, see, yeah. representing, you know, who were the, the roots basically, right? I take a look at that. Okay. Um, if that's the case, the Andros right. is not good. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, right. Your yeah. your favorite Red Ranger would literally be in like at least D tier or close true. to trash. Yo, my no, man listen, is. Listen. Oh my god! Listen. Just be careful listen. with your criteria, listen. yo. Listen, listen. We're not even doing the red one. We're not doing the red one yet. And his qualities are so strong. You can look. We're gonna say that another day. Mm. Anyway, mm -hmm. I, I am look. I'm looking at it here. Right. All right. All right. And that's th 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 that's how I'm putting it together. Not okay. putting necessarily any any specific like priority order or anything. Okay. But obviously, you know, and just the impact that they had. That's the, that's the number one thing for me. Impact is the biggest thing on that list. Oh yeah. Uh, Dylan okay. had that. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. I, after mm -hmm. especially after cool. following a whole bunch of like bad seasons, like argue <laughs> bad seasons. Oh yeah. And then here comes Dylan. It's like okay, now this is an interesting character, right? You care more about his character than even the leader of the show, who was the Red Ranger. He stole yeah, the show. That's true. That is why this, this is why he belongs in A. He is not better than Adam. He, however, he is OD. He is definitely, definitely one of the greats when it comes to talking about Black Rangers, without a doubt. Yes. Without yeah. a doubt. Well said, honestly. I don't, I don't have too much to add, but yeah, you're you're right. You're spot on. Dylan's OD. Uh, that the prison scene. <laughs> and like that was like yes. that is like one of the yeah, best that, that, scenes. That's the most memorable, that was the most memorable scene of the entire season. <laughs> <It is OD. laughs> I, I, I look, I tell you this: I, I people love RPM, and I understand why they do. I'm necess, I'm not the biggest RPM fan. I'll admit, I'll go on record as saying that. But I love Dylan's character. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I can definitely agree with that. I will be, be 100% okay if Grid gets more characters in the future, and they want to add a, a true Black Ranger. I'll be okay if they add Dylan. I'll be more. I'll be very happy if they add Dylan. Yeah. Dylan would be cool. No complaints. No, no, no. I won't even consider that a wasted slot. Absolutely not, no, no. I, I would not I consider know. him a wasted slot. I would just feel some type of way if he got right. in before Adam, but you know, that's yeah, that's a that's a different story. All right. So okay, so I'm glad that we're very much I, all in agreement with, with Dylan in the eights here. Something else too that I just want to say, like uh -huh. you're talking about seasons and stuff, like obviously, I mean I like RPM a lot and the thing that benefits RPM is that the storytelling is really good. So, like, he has a more fleshed out story and, like, a character arc yeah. because of the storytelling was so good in RPM. That most Rangers, like, just period. It's like, it's, it's not even, like, up for debate. Like, he just does <laughs> have a better, like, character arc than most, most yeah. characters. So, yeah. that's, that's another thing for him, too. Yeah, no, his story, yeah, that, that that's, he, his story is what kind of captivates you into even giving half yeah. of a shit about RPM in the first place. So, you know, yeah. shout outs to Dylan, shout outs to whoever was in charge of writing that. Yeah, no, he was. He was. He definitely yeah. was. He had a he had a good look to him, you know. You know, some 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 mm -hmm. some, some characters can be a little sus, you know, as far as like <laughs> how their appearance is, but you know. All right, so he seems pretty cool. I, I watched an interview with him recently. He seems pretty cool. Okay. Because you were talking about outside of the show. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. So not only is the character in the show cool, the actor himself is cool too. So that just adds mm -hmm. to it. So, all right, all right. So here's the thing, right? I don't I'm really not, care about that, but that was your I, Yeah, thing. like, I, I'm <laughs> not, so with my criteria, I'm not going to focus at all on, like, how they are outside of the yeah. show. Just, just, for the, just, <laughs> for the, just for the sake of I can't even apply that to all of them, to be honest. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Some of them don't even make a pair. I mean, no, but I'm saying, but I'm saying it's, an, it's an added bonus. That's what I'm trying to say. It's a bonus for me. Yeah. And for me. 
For Uchi, for Uchi, if you if you doing that, then Justin about to go way more time. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, we, we, so maybe, maybe, that, maybe that would be a plus. <laughs> you know, but obviously, impact is the most important thing for me. Like I said, I think yeah. how, they are, how they are outside the show just adds, right? Yeah. Like Adam was already a cool yeah, character, impact, and, and, character, and the fact character. you know we know what he does outside, like come on, this just makes it even more OD. He's the goat. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's not even. You know, like, Tommy's the, the best ranger for a reason. Know. You know, you yeah. can't. Talk even outside the show, obviously. Like, right, right. That just gives him so many bonus points. It definitely it just makes him better. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, de- I definitely agree with that. Um. All right. So, next on this list, we got who was that? Jake. Come on, you know we don't have to say nothing. <laughs> no explanation needed, bro. You just do it. Just do it. I will say one thing. Oh, go. Let's please get it out. Mega Force. Mega Force is trash. First of all. <laughs> yes. But second. Pretty much all the characters in Mega Force are trash, except for probably Gia. And I will say that aside from Gia, Jake is probably the only character that's not as trash as the rest. He, he's, better he's, trash. Noah. he's better than Noah. Better than Noah. He's way better. He's better than all of them. Because Noah is trash. Right. <laughs> he's actually trash. Right. But that's all I have to say. I'll say that he. He's not. He, he's 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 trash though. He's definitely trash. <laughs> but he's not the worst character. Okay. I don't think he's the worst character in Mega Force. And I don't think he's the worst black. Yeah, well, not. Nah, I, I it's not know saying he's much. You know, it's not I, saying much. He's bad, yo. I, I, I don't know. Okay. Well, not in Mega Force, but in this list, probably. In this, on this list, he's probably the worst. Well, we'll see. We'll have to he see. He's worse than Will? And yeah, Will? Probably is worse than uh, yeah, I would say so, honestly. I definitely would. Very but, forgetful. Because Will at least has some funny moments. Nobody, nobody ever talks about. Nobody ever talks about um, Mega Force Black. Yeah, but but no one talks. I about forgot. Operation I forgot. Overdrive forget Mega Force. I forgot Mega Force has a Black Ranger. Real talk. Like, <laughs> I forget. That man, that was so fun. The man had to switch his color in this season. <laughs> Tragic. Listen, as far as Jake is concerned, I gotta agree with what Tech was saying because a lot of that is very true. Like, out of that trash of a season, waste of a season, right? Yeah. He, in comparison to the other six or main five or whatever, (laughs) like, he was definitely under Gia as far as characters that were likable, right? Yeah, exactly. So, like, so that's why I have to question. And this is, you know, this is why, you know, I have to be as fair as possible. Would we have to create a D tier just for Jake or would he just not be at the bottom of the trash bin? I think think, think think he's bad. I don't think he's better than Carlos. Like, that's what I'm saying. He needs to. He, he's trash. And if that and and by that regard, he goes right next to him. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's better than Carlos. Okay, so he's probably better than Will. Maybe. Yeah, he's probably he's better than Will. Yeah. I don't know, yo. That that's a toss up. But it doesn't matter. They all trash. <laughs> yeah, I can't even tell you. I. Yeah. Not even, I don't know. He's better than Will. You know what? <laughs> You know what? Ultimate, you're probably right. EP is probably better than Will. Not even by much. Yo, Isaac, bro. You want to talk about real life qualities. Tell me how my man Will was a robbery, was a robber in Operation Overdrive and ended up being an actual robber in real life. That is OD. Yeah, that's I right. Forgot I, about, I forgot about that. I can't front. I, I forgot about that. How do you forget that. about that? That man is I the biggest clown, that. dude. He's I the biggest clown. That. Yeah. I forgot that all about cool. that. I remember, yo. I remember oh, seeing yeah. that. I remember seeing that, <laughs> and that's the first comparison I made. Yeah. But I, I don't even think I knew you guys at the time when I well talked to you guys that much when the article came up. <laughs> I was like, yo, this really just happened. Like this uh-huh. shit really just happened. Uh-huh. That 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 will just for that he definitely deserves to be last, no matter what. Definitely, one hundred percent. He does. Yeah. Yep. So I mean, a lot. Some some of these characters we know, like like Jake, like Will. There's really not much to say about them. They're in the position that they are in. And again, we will explain why Carlos is there. If you, if you guys are just tuning in, so shout out to everybody that's in the chat right now. Make sure you guys are checking us out on Twitter. I have the Twitters on the screen for you guys, so that way you guys can show the love and the appreciation. All right. And another shout out to Tech because again, I see some of you guys that are just tuning in right now. He did put together this particular tier list because let me here. Let me just let me just actually take a, a quick break for a second just to show you guys the other tier list that we would have had to work with and we were like, no, this is unacceptable. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely unacceptable. Let me let me show you guys really quick. Let's take a little uh tangent right oh, now. Who who does Broly's voice? 
my man. Yeah, yeah. The the greatest of all time. I mean, yeah. So, so this is this is a this is a complete mess. It's just a bunch of random <laughs> pictures, honestly. That was you so know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I, 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 did, we include, did we include movies at in, in the list? Yeah, I got a movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's ah, good, good, good. I can't wait to get to that one because you yeah, know I love that, that movie. That was some buzz. I was like, there's no way. <laughs> yeah. All right, so here we go. So Chase, another Nickelodeon unfortunate character, and I say unfortunate because you know Neo Saban. Right, yeah. Chase Dino Charge Black Ranger again. Another series that didn't really pay that uh, pay that much attention to. Um, yeah, but, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be completely honest. I I don't know a ton about Dino Charge, I, but people like that season. Mm-hmm. I think so. Like, I mean, I, I couldn't really tell you much. I don't remember. I mean, I've seen so, I've seen like maybe like ten episodes when it aired, but yeah, I, I don't remember so that every, time. Every season, for the most part, has a has a episode that they focus on, you know, one of the um, characters, right? So right. Chase, Chase's thing was he he was basically comedy, right? Yeah, um, I don't remember that much. Right. The the thing with Chase and this, I mean, I have to say this. I'm sorry, but Clockwork did it better. So because somebody <laughs> was able to do it better, right? I can't. I, I, for me, for Chase, based on what I've seen from him, again, in terms of his backstory, in terms of um, his relevancy to the the impact he had on the show, um, when I think Dino Charge, I obviously think of the Red Ranger, right? Because to me, I still think that's the best character in that uh, in that season. Chase, however, to uh, I can't even say he was the second best. I don't know about that. Me, I don't even think I can't, I can't even say he's. You know who the best I character is in, in, in Dino Charge? Come on now. Mm. Uh, the Rangers? Out of the Rangers? Shelby, yeah. Uh, I mean, I know you're okay. You know what? I'm not even going to argue with you because I know you love your Shelby, just like how I love my Ninja Steel Pink. Donald Charge, I agree, Arnie. Donald Charge is not that bad. I was, I'm thinking, I'll put C. I, I think he's, he's not, he's not, um, he's not trash, but I also don't think he's not good enough to be B. That's just my opinion based on what I saw from Donald Charge. I did not see every episode. I've seen a lot of it, though. I've definitely right. seen more than half. I uh, I started. That's what I need to watch all yeah. the way through. Yeah, I started. Uh, but the thing is, again, even with the episodes that I did watch, he did not leave a lasting impression. Uh, 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 yeah, that was so. Like, like I've definitely watched. The, I'm not saying I've never seen. It. Like I've watched because it's on Nick. So like I've seen it. I saw it on the air, maybe yeah. like ten episodes, and like I've seen reruns every now and then. But like I, I couldn't even tell you too much. About <laughs> if, if this was if this was clockwork, that definitely would have been minimum A tier. But it's not clockwork, so I'll be getting him and the Green Ranger mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, in Dino Charge, yeah. I mean Yeah, Dino Charge. I'll be getting them mixed up. Yeah, I saw so I saw like I remember I remember starting Dino Charge and like watching it from the beginning and I was just like, Oh man, this is I mean, <laughs> like like to to you guys credit though, like out of the Neo Saban, that Dino Charge is not all that bad. And no. yeah. go, going off of what Isaac was saying, I definitely agree with putting him in seats here and underneath Master Swoop because for a character that right. is mm-hmm. is is a funny, he has like a decent you know personality as far as the show goes. I'm not putting him over a blind master. <laughs> it's not happening. Yeah, he's, there's no way he's better. He's better than and again, That's even though he's C tier, it doesn't necessarily mean he's bad. Exactly. Right? That. He, yeah, he's not Compared bad. Him. Right. Yeah. Yeah, he's just he's just on the lower end of the spectrum, you know. So that's just how it goes here. So, but this next guy, all right, y'all know him, y'all love him, okay. This guy oh. is the most is is infamous for the hip hop keto, okay. He brought that swag to fighting every every day back in the day in the nineties, beating up all the putties. And you know what? It made no sense half of those moves because it just looked like he was just having a good time and then throwing out a yeah, a kick, a punch, and then he would just kind of, you know, feel himself and then throw out another kick, right? And 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 that and if you don't know who I'm talking about, get the fuck out of the rock that you are under. Of course, I am talking about my man Zach Taylor, and I'm going to go ahead and do us all a solid and just throw him up in the S tier. That's how I feel. Hey. Hey. Uh, yes, 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 yes. I love Zach. All yes. right. Now here's I'll the thing. I put him at sick. Like I, I, I already know what I was about to say. 
I wish he came back. I wish he came back. That's like that's it. I'm oh, not, I'm, not, I'm yeah. That's what I'm saying. I wish you know he more back. I wish he came back. If there's honestly, if they came to me like, yo, you can bring back one ranger, it will be Zach. I just to make a cameo appearance at least. Yeah. You know something that's interesting because like he reps it so much. It's kind of odd yeah. that he never come back. Right. Yeah, he reps outside. it outside heavy. heavy. Yeah. Heavy. Facebook videos and everything. Like, he's still the Black Ranger to this day, and he knows. Yeah, well, I guess. I'm surprised. Chris, Chris is also that. missing a finger. I yeah. Chris is missing a <laughs> finger in both him. And let's not forget, the, uh, in terms of the impact, yo, know, when you watch the Mighty Morphin intro, when he does that dance move, yeah, yo, no. man's out here with the shimmy, yo, come on, yo. My way to is stuff is S tier. Bro. All of us try to do that S tier, yo. He came up, all of us try to do that. Now, here's the little the- here, here's the other thing that I definitely and, want. And, and the drip. Let's talk about the drip too. I'm sorry, I can touch you. The, the oh. drip. Stupid the <laughs> drip. Yo, we're talking about drip outside of, outside of like just in terms of. He's in the one. show. In number the one, show. Period. In power history. Drip. Nobody, yeah. nobody's messing with that. My bro, his pants are yeah, super drip. Yeah. <laughs> Those super baggy Johns. I remember that. Yeah. Just... I'm saying. Yeah. He was out here. He was definitely out here. He was repping, he was repping it for the culture. You mm-hmm. know? Not even TJ could do it. Not even TJ could do it. Exactly. Oh, yeah. I mean, because TJ, he has he used to have to use a uniform and stuff, man. So, but that is true. But yo, Mans was out here representing. I, Zach was out here. He, I was trying to, I was trying to dress like him. Yeah. But the, I thing, <laughs> the thing I will say is that what most people think thinking, like, more Roberts even say he said nostalgia, <laughs> bro. Like, in comparison to some other characters, especially someone like Dylan. Which kind of makes it feel it feels tough because like you know Zach didn't really have much of a character arc or like a, <laughs> a story. Uh, like he had some godlike episodes. Let, let me let me get you know, like let, let me let me touch that. Let me let me touch on that technique. Who's Jason's right hand man? It was always Zach. He needed anything. He will always go to Zach. They two, yeah. them two were literally best friends. So that's, that's literally it. you know uh, Jason was Batman, right? And that's Zach was Robin, right? So even though he wasn't the leader, he worked very, very closely um, with him. And mm-hmm. um, damn, what the hell was I gonna say? Who who, um, who else uh, did Tommy bless with a dragon shield? Oh, that is true. That is true. It was Zach. Yeah, it, it was. That's a birthday episode, right? I don't remember to be honest. The other thing I wanted to bring up, right? And this is kind of where I I, I have to, you know. I, you know, of course we gotta, we gotta, we, we we have to get the nostalgia out. You know, sometimes you get that like, oh, you, you get like, you, you get amped up, right? And you just gotta, oh, like, uh, ah, you gotta let it go, yeah. right? You just gotta release, okay? Now that we have that exactly. all out there, here's the things that I want to say about Zach, okay? Zach, to uh, uh, adding on to everything that both Tech and Isaac are saying are all factual all true it's not just opinion these are things that are very real about this character in specific however i wanted to touch on some things that some of you might question maybe i don't i don't see any in the chat right now but some of you might question like well why would zach be s tier if we have dylan who has such a, a compelling story he like he like it was basically about him for the majority of it he he played a, a pivotal part in that season of power rangers for rpm as far as zach is concerned zach was the right hand man to jason best friend and all that and he had the hip-hop keto he's very likable you know you remembered him very well and all that but then there came a point in time where he left and you never saw him again after that and and here's what i have to answer to that when we decided to do this some of the rules that we laid out were simply that we were looking at the character overall in power rangers so that does not rule out comic book material zach's character still is ongoing and developing as we speak right now okay that is stuff that we cannot leave out and you know when 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 him when he and trini and jason left for the peace conference on our tv screens back in the day that was the last time we saw them unless it was some fucking reruns okay but if you read that version of the story in the comic books what they were actually doing was going <laughs> off to fight more motherfuckers in space before <laughs> Andros and the gang. Okay? And he became the Omega Black Ranger. Yes. With more be- drip. 
He had more drip. If we talk about yeah, we talking about comic books, yeah, he's definitely S tier. Nostalgia aside too, right? You can take Zach's character how he was back then, and you can literally he still works to this day. You can put his character. Yeah, that's what I was gonna get into that too. I was gonna get into that too, like about how he, like you know, like archetypes, and it still works to this day. Like the Red Ranger is the leader. The Blue Ranger is the nerdy guy, you know. Like the Pink Ranger is the, the girly girl, and like the Black Ranger is the cool guy. Like, he doesn't need a backstory. He really doesn't need a backstory. Yeah. yeah. He he doesn't need one because his character is already so likable without one that it's it's, it's fine. It's acceptable. Absolutely. You know, he, he, go, he goes in there. He dances. His fighting style is literally he's just dancing. Mm-hmm. Right, even, even uh, shout out to Legacy Wars for putting you know the, oh, the yeah. style. My oh, man, Legacy Wars, great dancing on these people. That's my man. Dragon Armor, Dragon is my man. He's our team. Yeah, so Zach is definitely. I, at first, I was thinking about it, but then it hit me like all these things, and I forgot about the comics. And the comics, Zach is literally yeah, like he, he, ridiculous. Still going on. No. So Zach, has, maybe you know Walter Jones, the actor. We're not necessarily seeing him but we're still seeing a lot of zach right right even though like you know and i I agree with isaac man when he says that i would love to see zach make a return you know to the to the actual power rangers television show at some point but you know you know the medium that we get to see some form of zach right now in today's current time is in the comic books of course so so yes these are all the reasons why zach belongs in the s tier and you know not gonna lie i was a little very like a one percent hesitant of just throwing mm-hmm. him in S tier. But after like, you know, quick thinking about it and some of the points that I wanted to bring up and then a lot of the stuff that you guys were talking about, it was no question that this man definitely belongs right next to Adam. And funny enough, of course, the fucking two Mighty Morphin Power Rangers <laughs> right up at the top, of course, in in true fashion. And and guys, let me just say, this is without nostalgia goggles. This is not without the nostalgia glasses, okay? Like we we reserved Adam up there. We didn't even talk about him. You didn't even miss why we put him there yet, okay? <laughs> and the reason why is because we're gonna go in. We're we, we, oh, yeah. there's so much to say, so much, okay? So moving right along, so that we could get to that point, Corcus, Alien Ranger Black. Now I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I don't on, honestly, honestly, I don't even know if I would really feel like. I feel like I would be insulting yeah. if I put Corcus in trash. But the reality is, do you, outside of the White Ranger, do you actually remember, like, are, are the, are, or should I rephrase this? Are the Alien Rangers memorable? I will D-tier. say. That's what I would I say. Remember, I remember, I, one day I randomly watched an episode of Alien Ranger just for the hell of it. And I remember an episode with the Blue Ranger, how he... He wanted to get a glass of water or something like that. <laughs> yes, that's they it. Spent the whole I remember that too. I remember, I remember that too. <laughs> yeah. and, 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 so they didn't even get the water, bro. I was like, what did y'all do that for? <laughs> yes. So that's the Kill only other Alien Ranger I remember other than Delphine. <laughs> <laughs> other than Delphine, exactly. Delphine, of course, guys, if you yeah. don't remember, so was the, the White, White Ranger. Ranger. So. Now, the thing with him, I think in terms I of making another tier, Uchi, like you said, I think it's relevant here because. With the trash tier, we have a reason to think they're trash. We have a reason to hate them. Absolutely. Like, he is neutral. Yeah. There's no yes. real reason to like him, and there's no real reason to hate him. So right. we can't put him trash because it's like we have no grudge against him. He did nothing for us to be like, you know what? I wish his character was never out. Like, what the hell were they thinking? No, he wasn't there. Absolutely. He served his purpose as just being a body, basically. I hate to say it, but he was <laughs> yeah, he was a body. So you, really? you, can't, you can't have a real opinion on him because you know nothing about him. He deserves to at least be beats here because he's not trash. I will, I will one up you. Oh, okay. Uchi, pull up, pull up his his article on the on the wiki. <laughs> that will right. tell you everything you need to know. <laughs> okay. Give me one second. Corcus. Let's see. Uh, oh, he's, he's a black ranger. You can't put him in not really black ranger. Is it with a C or a K? Oh, I can C. Yeah, I can post it. Okay. Yeah, let's just throw it in the chat. All right. Thank you. Where'd it go? Oh. 
All right. <laughs> All right, guys, if you want to see this as well, let me throw this up for you guys. Man was in, I, yo, I don't even remember him being <laughs> in legendary battle, son. Dude, yo. his page is mad short. Wait. Uh, uh, oh, oh, okay. wait. What? Okay. Oh, yo, I thought you sent me a blank page on purpose. <laughs> to to be t- <laughs> yo, that's crazy. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, so Cor- he's a black ranger. He's definitely a black ranger. Yeah, he's, he's a, black. a black ranger. The black Aquatar. Aquat- yeah, the black Aquatar ranger of the Aquatar Rangers. He is also referred to as Black Alien Ranger on Earth, as well as Mighty Morphin Alien Black Ranger, a variation on this alternate intro Morph, label. Bro. Though it is more in reference to the show itself than a proper label. He is the quietest member of the team, often lurking in the background, but he fights with extreme <laughs> ferocity against his enemies. That's pretty much it, bro. That's it. Silent but deadly. <laughs> That's it, you know. He needs his own right. tier. He needs to be at least the. That's kind of history. That's really it. Just, that literally just proved that he is just a character. Nothing yeah. more. Like yeah. all the rest is just him appearing <laughs> places. Like that's not even him doing anything. He just it was there. Yeah. So. Yeah, and it, it, you know, and that's why that's why I that's why I said what I said earlier when I when I opened them up and I said that. That like it almost feels insulting to really like take a huge jab at Alien Rangers yeah. in this way, just because of the fact that we only saw them for ten, like ten, like nine episodes, like nine or ten yeah. episodes. They Alien Rangers were truly treated as a bridge season. <laughs> a lot of people like to talk and shit on Turbo, but let me remind you, <laughs> Alien Rangers they needed fucking water, like Tech just said, and they let this guy. <laughs> Basically drowning himself because there was no water. Okay, they had no fucking water. All right, it was a season to let the fucking kid versions of the Mighty Morphin Rangers. They they were there to stall for them so that they could find the fucking Zeo crystals. And it was yeah. just it, they just threw it at us. Now it's unfortunate also because again I'm like Isaac like Tech. We are familiar with the Sentai, the Japanese version. Kaku Ranger, Ninja, Ninja. That shit is fire. Old, okay. That, that, we wouldn't put him in. We wouldn't think considering putting him in trash. Exactly. <laughs> and, and it's also a shame because we like, and it doesn't. It does not help his credit and the rest of the fucking Alien Rangers at that respect because any time we see the Alien Rangers after Alien Rangers, they are jokes. Literally, I feel like we've seen them in panels at the comic, in the comics, and Dra- and Draken was fucking up everybody, and the Alien Rangers was right there in front of center with everybody else, like the Neo Saban Rangers. Funny how they put them there too, right? But the Alien <laughs> Rangers was there, of course. How come? And this has nothing to do with the black one, but why did why in Forever Red, we got the Red Ranger showing up, morphed already, didn't even demorph, didn't even morph. <laughs> It's not like they couldn't get the actor. They could have threw anybody in there. <laughs> they, literally, they literally could have threw anybody they in They threw there. in the fucking Beetleborgs as villains and then we wasn't going to fucking notice. They could have literally, <laughs> like you said, put anybody. Exactly. Over that. Look, my man, look look at his fucking mask. Like, come on. That's, <laughs> some, that's some Burger King head ass out the fucking <laughs> shit prize, dude. <laughs> so, yeah, they did they, they did the Alien Rangers dirty, unfortunately. But, again, not bad enough to wear their trash. It was it was just that they didn't do shit. So, for that, Isaac, I will definitely make a D tier. And, yeah. you know, that's that. A D tier should be no opinion. Yeah, and, and, <laughs> and, and, and I guess as a minor pro, okay, uh, the Alien Rangers did serve a purpose, and they were there to help out the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers for that short time. That they needed to get the Zeo crystals, and if they were not able to get the job done, then you know, then they would have been bodied and probably would have had to freaking get sent right back to Aquatar and said, "All right, peace, Zordon. We can't do this shit. We're out. Sorry." But nah, they they stayed there until they were dismissed. You know, once they got their shit together, then they peaced out. They went back to the planet. Billy followed, got his Aquatar cheeks, and boom, done. End of the story. That is it. So, uh, we'll make this blue. Okay, just to... All right, so there he goes. Corcus is in the D tier, fellas. All right, now, Phantom Ranger. Not really going to say too much about him, obviously, because, again, he is not really considered a Black Ranger. Phantom Ranger is among the extra Rangers list of characters overall in the Power Rangers franchise. Uh, 
Phantom Ranger shows up in space, correct? Yes, turn um, now. Yeah. Uh, to lose the King Mondo. Oh, but he also wait, wait. He he first appeared in Turbo. Yes, yeah. he was a, he was, okay. a he was a Turbo character. Right, right. Okay, yeah. so so yeah, so again, like Turbo had. If you want to be technical, Turbo had a total of seven, but because they had the Blue Centurion and they had Phantom Ranger, but again, not a Black Ranger. They had they 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 didn't have a Black Turbo Ranger. They just had the Phantom Ranger. He made his appearances in and out, whatever. And again, very cool character, a, a very popular one, I should say, has some popularity to him. Yeah, but put him in my top three most requested for me. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. yeah. Isaac likes Phantom Ranger. <laughs> I love Phantom Ranger. Yeah, like, I won over Cassie without even showing off who he really is. Like, come on, man. That's not right. that man's had game on top of that, man. But he's not really considered a Black Ranger. Yeah. So again, kind of just segueing right off of that, Magna Defender. Again, another si similar situation. Power Rangers Lost Galaxy has started out with five, and they got their sixth Ranger, which was considered an extra Ranger because by the title of <laughs> the name, Magna Defender, they're not calling them Galaxy Red, Galaxy Blue. Ga they're not. There's not Galaxy Black. All right, it is the Magna Defender, <laughs> and that is two two times. Look. Magna once, and then there's Mike. Well, I'll, I'll say one thing before we move on to Mike. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Magna Thunder wasn't even a good guy. He was, yeah. <laughs> he was literally a villain. <laughs> like, he was not helping. I he think he was an anti-hero. He was I'll not even an anti-hero. Anti bro, I just watched Lost Galaxy. He wasn't even an anti-hero. Magna anti Thunder, he was he, trying to get revenge, and he wanted to do it his own way because of Zika. Yeah, yeah. He was not even helping them. He was actively fighting them. He almost destroyed Terra Venture. <laughs> Because they were getting in his way from getting his revenge. I know he was trying to get revenge. I'm like, he was. He was. His like, idea no. was not to beat them. They were just getting in his way because he wanted to get revenge. For it wasn't even getting in his way. He was being a douchebag, bro. Like he, he was like high key a villain. <laughs> like he wasn't even anti hero. <laughs> yeah, he was like. I understand what he was fighting for, but like he was being a douche. Like yeah. he, he, his goal. I can't say he's a villain because his goal was not to go. You know. To take over the world, like every other villain. Yeah. Right. He wanted it to. I mean, to get he's still a villain. Killing people. <laughs> no. Nah. Well, because you had good intentions. You out here killing people. You're a villain. I will say. I will say to Magna's defense, as far as the whole villain conversation is concerned, I wouldn't consider him a full villain because if that was the case, I feel like he wouldn't have given a shit about Mike falling through that freaking earthquake. Hmm. But he saved. Well, him. he didn't. He only saved he did, he did it to save his own life. He did it to yeah. you know, <laughs> save though, True. The, true. the thing is, though, yeah. let's just say Zika never, was never killed, right? For all we know, he was probably a good guy. That right there shattered him. Facts. Yeah, right? we, 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 don't, we don't know. But, like, you, 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 your, your son was killed. That's going to change anybody, right? So he, he, it's not that he was a bad guy. He just stopped giving a fuck. Hmm. That's, that's really what it is. And that's... That's an anti. Look at Kaiba, for example. Would you say Kaiba and Yu-Gi-Oh was a villain? No. You know when he took Mokuba, he was out there getting revenge, trying to save Mokuba. That's his Just brother. like Magna, the... right. yeah, exactly. Magna Defender. He had he was fighting for his son. He wanted to get revenge on his son. Like, and he he's he he say he's arrogant, whatever. But he, again, he was not he he didn't do any of this stuff with uh, bad intentions. He just wanted to get revenge for his son. He after he got revenge, let's just say he never gave his powers to Mike. He probably could have been just chilling. He probably, you know what? I'm just gonna mind my business. That's it. And yeah. if somebody was gonna mind their business, that's not a villain. They're gonna be meddling. They're gonna be trying to take over the world. I definitely agree with that, Isaac. For sure, hundred percent. Was out here trying to destroy Terra Venture, but okay. Nah, 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 no. You're right too. I definitely, <laughs> I like because here's the thing. When it comes to like, and 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 that's what makes Magna Defender. Keywords, the Magna Defender. Okay, I'm gonna get to Mike in a second. Okay, <laughs> all right, but. It's what makes him a very complicated character, right? He, yeah, no, he definitely is. He's he, one of the most interesting characters in there. Yeah, like he has a purpose, a, a backstory. He is, he is, he is how you write anime, right? And they was doing this <laughs> in the fucking nineties, right? Power Rangers Lost Galaxy or early two thousand. I can't, I can't even remember the year, right? But Power Rangers Lost Galaxy had the had a character who, like Tech was saying literally was so distraught he was so fucked up why because they killed his kid and when you when you take any heroic or not even heroic you don't have to be heroic you take any character in any kind of story where there is you know there is action there's battle there's you know all this kind of conflict and this dude 
and you and you take the one thing away. We never even saw Miss Magnet Offender. So this guy, all we know, <laughs> all right, we don't know the backstory there. Clearly, that she had to have been around at some point. How the fuck Zika exists, right? Anyway, we yeah. don't know the race of the Magnet of people. Okay, we don't know them. All right, but he had only one thing in life, beside the Taurus Horde. He had Zika. Okay. He has yeah. Zika, and Zika got taken away from him. So I'm not writing his wrongs. I'm not saying that, look, man, you kill any of my family members, I'm just going to go and fucking fuck up my whole state. Like, I'm not saying that. I'm not condoning it either. But he had, he had his, that like, his, 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 his uh, revenge was that strong that his vision was almost clouded that he was just trying to do whatever it took to just get to the people that he needed to really do. And if you got in his way, then that's your own problem kind of thing. That's how I see it for Magnet Defender. Yeah. Well, but, what was the villain's right. name in the galaxy? Was it like uh, it was Scorpius? Scorpius. Yeah. So Scorpius. Yeah. So you have to think about it too, why he was going ham on the Power Rangers, right? He wanted to do the he wanted to do the deed. He wanted to be the one the to kill him because they killed his exactly. right? So if that means, if that means if that means killing the Power Rangers, the people that are trying to kill him first, he wasn't having that. Right. So of course he was gonna do whatever it is he want. He was gonna have. He was gonna be the one to um to get revenge, not the people that he just met, strangers. Mm. Yep. And and with that, you know, and you know, and I, I like how we're taking time to really talk about even the not really considered a Black Ranger, just so that we could give those these characters yeah. the respect that they deserve. Because look, man, Mad Defenders OD. He was a character that I knew frame one before Battle for the Grid was even like <laughs> given a release date. I knew he was going to be a character in the game. Yeah, free. Yeah, yeah. I knew he was because look yeah. at his design. Look at where he comes from. Like he like he's not a considered a black ranger, but he was a special ranger in that. He literally considered like an extra ranger. He was he he is somebody that you have to have. And even though we got the mic version. Yeah. yeah, even though we got the mic version, right? Which technically but all his quotes are Magnet Defender quotes. <laughs> right. Which, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's it's you very. You have no idea what I'm fighting for. Right. Fighting for you? Lights of Orion. Lights of Orion. He don't even know what that is. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, on, on that regard, for Enway and Battle for the Grid, I, I just I just wish they had a little bit more, like, I don't know, fact-checking type stuff. Because... You know, they I mean, get. I think it was cool. we'll, we'll do it for free. If you all need help, we'll do it for free. Like, fucking. <laughs> throwing that honestly, out there. to be honest. But so yeah, <laughs> so, so let me so let me talk about Mike really quick. Okay, so the reason why I love Magnet Defender way more, I'll just put that out there right now, is because when I was a kid, and I remember watching Power Rangers: Lost Galaxy, and I remember how fucking badass Magnet Defender was. I remember how OD he was, how sick he was. Right, Mike had a really big hurrah moment when he finally adopted and became and, and and was granted the power of the magnet defender when he got that shit magna power put the shit back, back. like he put all that shit <laughs> right he he put the torazord came out he had his big moment after that he fell flat and the essence that the magnet defender brought the that shit <laughs> that shit went away and you might think mike is od He's not OD. That's an illusion. You are you are you are remembering. Oh, you are you are remembering come the on, the magna man. the magna defender magna defender. Mike has Mike see, is OD. No no no. He's Mike not. He's not. Look here, look look here, here look. Here's the here's the here's what here's the only thing that Mike is OD for. He should have been the Red Ranger, and that's what he got. He had the fucking saber the qu the quasar saber out the fucking rock. And Leo, who is the Rocky... Nah, I'm just playing, right? <laughs> no, 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 I'm not going that far. I'm, I'm, I'm bugging, I'm bugging, right? He was, he, he was on, the, on the sidelines at the start of the fucking show, right? But that was what Mike Story. had. He, yeah, Mike was and should have been. He was all intention. He should have been the Red Ranger. He's the leader. Should have been the leader, too. He pulled the sword. He did pull yeah. the sword. But... My man was gone, and he came back. And then when he came back, it wasn't. It didn't feel like he was really filling the shoes that the Magnet Defender, the original one, possessed. It felt like, and as a kid, it was just, it was just a really lackluster feeling that I hated to have because I was just like, I was like, why is, 
Why does Mike not feel well, like he's as strong as Magda Defender? He felt more of as an assist than actually part of the team. At least yes. Yes. Magna, Magna Defender was his own character. Like, you know, he could hold his own. Mike is like, yo, we need him. Let's just call him. Like Facts. I do remember it like that as well. Yes. Well, my thing is, like, Mike, he wasn't even in that many episodes. Like, he, when he came back, it was kind of like the show was kind of wrapping up at that point. I guess he he was kind. Of, I mean, and he you know yeah. he, like we talked about this before. Like he, he was freed, second in command for the terror Like he had he freed the slaves that from um the the pirate guy. Right, so, right. Damn, I forget. Huh? Los Galaxy has slaves. That's you know? crazy. Terror Vengeance. He has slaves. Wilding. Oh yeah. No, but we're talking about we need to talk about the most od thing he did was when he 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 freed them for the Lost Galaxy. This man yeah. sacrificed himself twice. Mike is OD. He has sacrificed himself more than any other ranger. It was like Kendrick's, you know, she sacrificed her life. He was willing to sacrifice his life twice. Mm. He did it with the sword to save Leo, and then he did it in all in terms of he should have died when they when they uh when they got they they had to uh, get out the lost galaxy and then he used the Toro Zord to, to leave it open uh, so Terra could get out. Yeah, yeah, that was that was godlike. That's why I'm, I don't know what you're talking about. All right, listen, godlike. listen, listen. And he, I'll give him he, that. He should have died there. He and then he man. I'll trip him. But look, 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 I, I, look, 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 I like Mike, no pun intended. All right. I like Mike. All right. I thought that I thought back then I did think he was really dope for the reason that I stated. I, I was like, I always kept that in my mind. I was like, damn, like Mike actually should have been the Red Ranger. Like, and that's a big deal. He is the older brother to Leo, right? There's a lot of things that I could take from Mike that I like. And even those moments that you just mentioned that I, I truly forgot about. I did forget about how he fucking had to hold that shit with the Taurus or and that shit was OD. I will give him that, right? However, what would have solidified Mike to been like, like, because it's all about what you remember, right? Yeah. And like, I, and, and, and Magna Defender, the original, is just way more memorable for the no, little that he did. In comparison to Mike, and that's that's where yeah. I'm standing. Yeah. So like, so so here's the thing. Like, I wanna I want you I want I wanna picture something for you guys right now. Like just like if you gotta close your eyes, do it. But if you don't, whatever. Right. I want you to imagine right after the debut of fucking Mike as a Magna Defender, the fucking Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. They in trouble. They got the fucking lights of Orion. They're in trouble. And Mike comes through. Dun, 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 and he he brings the song in. He has that epic intro. He takes the gun blade, starts fucking ba 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 ba, and they fucking start. He starts fucking up everybody just like how the Magnum Defender used to. That would have solidified him, and I would have remembered Mike better had he done that. Plus all the shit that you said, bro. Mike, Mike would have. I would have made an exception for Mike alone. I would have been like, all right, put him in fucking S tier. Because look, not too many Rangers had their exclusive little like like theme songs. Yeah, Green, Green Ranger had them, especially after Mighty Morphin. Exactly, exactly, and Mike was one of those few to this day. And that, well, Magnet Defender was, I should say. So, so there you go, yeah. there you go. So there you go. So not really considered a Black Ranger, but we have that much love and respect toward for them that you know. It is what it is, and they are they have their own special, not really considered Black Ranger, but we at least gave you all the opportunity and the time to, to talk about them. So now to kind of cool things down, Danny from Wild Force. Oh, he up there. Really? He up there. He up there. You think Danny's up there? Not yeah. SRA, but he's up there in B. I'm okay with B. Yeah. He's in I mean, B. Danny's cool. up there in B. I'm definitely okay he's with a, B. Man, I really... He, I really wanted. I thought that character. Like, I'll be okay, but I like Danny. But man, there's this clip. Wild Force. You know about the, uh, Wild Force. Never give up. You know, you know, see what I'm talking about. What, what I, what I loved about Danny was that he was a, he was literally a bison. He was, he was, he was a strong but very shy and silent type at the same time. Like he was, he cared yeah. for his friends. He cared about the people that he, that he, you know, he was around. And I'll never forget for some reason, when we're talking about Danny, I actually remember the episode where he was trying to build up the courage to just fucking like go on a date with that girl that he had interest in. Mm -hmm. I, and, and, and I was like, you know, this, this plays a really cool part in his overall character because, you know, he's a big, strong guy, 
but he's not flexing that. He's very humble, and I like that about Danny. So, you know, outside of that, I, I honestly don't really remember all that much that he did, per se, in Power Rangers Wild okay. Force. So, so, yeah, like, I'm not going to lie, though. I have to question. Y'all are saying B, and I kind of agree with B, but would you put him over Master Swoop, who's in the top of C right now? I'll say so just because, like, as, as OD as Master Swoop is, he didn't have that much, you know, face time at all. Okay. If Master Swoop was, like, a bigger part of the season, then I would probably put him a lot higher, but... Okay. I don't know. I mean, I, I personally like Master Swoop a little, a little bit more. But, I mean, Danny's pretty cool. Yeah. And, like, his, his uh... What's, what's uh, Blue Ranger's name? Uh, Max, Ethan? I think? Yeah, uh, Max, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're talking his, about... Uh, uh, Wild no, Force. Ethan was um, Wild Force, yes. My yeah. bad. Oh, Ethan? Um, yeah, my bad. No, man, yeah, Max. Max is a blue ranger. Yeah, Ethan was, but... I think, the Dino Thunder Blue. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Dino Thunder Blue. Yeah, yeah, Dino Thunder Blue. I'm fucking confused. There's so many. So many. Similar His friendship two. with Max, as I was going to say, was, was, was really cool. Mm. Those guys were, were idiots. It was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> but, but you got to you gotta play when you, Whenever you're done, play this clip that I posted. Yeah. You got to skip to 204. It is so for Danny funny. too. For Danny too, he probably got the most iconic uh, in that season. He got the most iconic suit because he got the horns. He got the he got, he got the little uh, tour of horns. This suit is OD. This suit is OD. Very easily recognizable. You said to skip to two something. Two oh four, yeah. Two oh four, okay. Oh, like two minutes. Two minutes is fine. Right, let me pause the music really quick. <laughs> so he had an anime moment. Bro, this thing is so OD. Look at this. Nice. Oh? Come on, yo. Just cut the hand up. Come on, yo. Okay. Homeboy B tier. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with B tier. Oh I'm definitely okay with B tier. I, I already got that stuff. That was pretty cool. Cause I used to do that the whole series. Never give up. Yeah, Max is the best friend. Uh, that, that's right, that's my boy. My boy that, Danny, yo. Yeah, that's definitely that's. Yeah. I mean, Max and Danny were pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's been a while since I watched Wild Force, but of course, for those that didn't uh, don't remember, yeah, I want to rewatch Wild Force. Yeah, Wild Force was good. Wild Force was de definitely good. The, Wild Force had a couple uh unique themes within the show as well. Um, and of course it's home to one of the best episodes ever forever read. So something that could never be recreated by the way. Never, yeah. never, ever, ever. Yeah. Wildfire's definitely slept on. I feel like people sometimes, I don't know, people kind of sleep on Wildfire sometimes. It was definitely sad. Yeah. So yeah, all right. So that's good. So we're all in agreement that Danny belongs in B. Nothing too much else to say about him, but yeah, definitely deserving of his position. Um, moving along, so this is our uh, little. Uh, oh, sorry, you got something to say? I thought, yeah, I thought Movie Zach was on this list. Where he had technique? Oh, I, I did put him on there. What the heck? Um, uh, we could, we could, uh, um, what's it called? We so if you have to edit it or something. Oh, I didn't save it. Okay, uh, I, I made it. it. I didn't, Damn, so I for you, he's trashed here. You forgot all about him, yo. <laughs> No, I, I made the thing. I literally made the thumbnail, but I think I didn't put it in the folder. That's fine. I mean, we here. You can add something to it. Uh, if you, I don't know. I you might have to read, make the whole thing, but then. I mean, we don't necessarily have to really like make it. We can just say where he'll belong yeah. here after. Let's we're talk about it here. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm pretty sure Uchi yeah, can go on his uh, his stream it. software and just write. Uh, movies that goes here or something. Yeah. <laughs> like my that. Bad. I really thought I had him on there. It's all good. It's all good. Um, okay, yeah. So, I mean, as far as as far as movies that goes, and we're talking about the 2017 movies Zach, of course. Um, mm -hmm. I would, uh, <laughs> I would put him. I'm thinking. My my mind is telling me like A or B. To be honest. Really? Oh, I was going C. Yeah, like yeah, I don't miss it. I, so, he damn near as forgettable as uh, Quarkus. He is out of everybody in that movie. 
I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put D. I'm not gonna put D because he. I thought what was it? He was taking care of his grandma. Right. 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 Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. So he had, but he had a backstory. But he didn't have an in-depth backstory like pretty much all the other characters in that movie did. He is literally just popped up. All of a sudden, he got a was it the uh, the stone or whatever? I forgot. I forgot. Basically, the morpher. Right. He had it. Um, he just came out of nowhere. You know, when they went to go to the source of it all, he was just there. He popped up because he got one too. So we didn't know too much about him other than he takes he's taking care of his grandmother. Um so I'll put it I'll put him in C for I mean he was he didn't suck, right? He was part of a movie, he had a relevant not not too relevant, but he had a relevant role, right? He still got his fifteen minutes of fame. Corkus didn't even get that, right? So mm-hmm. I would put him in C T. I'll put him above Chase. I'll be quite honest with you, because I don't think Chase is better than Movie Zack. Movie Zack just is overall better. But you think Master Swoop is better than him? Yes. Okay. Without question. Yeah, the reason why I was only floating above, I was floating in A and B was just because, like, I do, I remember him enough to where he was like a com- uh, like he was like the comic relief, I guess, in slightly in a way. Um, realistically, I really thought Billy was just like the best character overall in that movie, to be honest. But um, okay, if you say so. Listen, I know Becky G is yours. Uh, all right, <laughs> I, I I'm talking about the. Hey, the Uchi, sustenance of add? the John. What's up? Yo, hold on, real quick. Can you look at the top? Does it say edit on there? Uh, for me, uh, no. It just I have the I have okay. this little setting button. Well, what I was gonna say, what if you want it? because I made it. Yeah, if you make it, send me the image, and I can literally just like impose it on the this OBS here, so that way it, at least it looks like he's he's there for the time being. Fast movies out. Yeah, because I like I. I just realized that I can actually edit it after I made it, but I guess that's because I made the actual thing. Well, no, if you if you but, want if you want to edit, edit it on mine. yeah, if you want to just edit the whole thing, then I mean we I could literally I I remember where everyone belongs or where everyone goes anyway. So we got two. Oh, then, I mean, it's crazy how both the Zacks are like so different, right? Because this Zack was not a dancer; he did not have the drip or anything. He was just taking care of his grandmother. Yeah, he was definitely not as fun of a character as the original Zack. Yeah, yeah can, that's I true. Right here. Just thinking about that too, it's like, dang man, like he could, he could have been, he should have been named something else completely. Obviously, they named him Zach, but they should, they could have named him, they could, you know what? They could have named him Adam, not because he's Asian, but they could have just named him Adam because he, <laughs> no, he, he no, dance. that's exactly why that you want to name him Adam. No, <laughs> they could have named, named him Adam because Adam does not, is not known to dance. This is Zach did not dance, right? He doesn't even have the drip. Just based on that. Now, you know, yeah, if, they, if they had this Zach right here, you know, over here, um, you know, if it was a B-boy, right, he would have definitely, you know, he probably could have lived up to his name. He had the intro, had the shimmy and everything, but he didn't have that. He right. was taking care of his grandmother. Okay, so thank you. Shout out to Tech because he did actually, on the spot, sent me the brand new updated <laughs> version. So that way we I made it. I just forgot. I literally, I think I deleted it on accident because I deleted all my extra pictures. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> That's fine. All right, so I'm gonna put it back back up on the screen for you guys. There he is, right here, Zach 2017. And you know what? Like, I like his design too, to be honest. Like, I really, yeah. you know, it's funny. Zach in this movie is basically like almost like Zach and Adam fused, like yeah. low key. Low <laughs> that's key. what I'm saying, yo. That's what I'm saying. They should have they named him Zach obviously his original character, but he could have been somebody completely different, right? Because yeah. again, in yeah. Billy, Billy in the movie, he was the smart one. Right, he was a mm-hmm. smart one. Jason, Jason, obviously, you know, he he was the leader. He had the leadership role. Um, I mean, you can say that about Trini too. Though. Trini you know, was very similar to the pink, the pink, the pink Ranger was, you know, the pretty girl, and then um, Trini. Uh, I mean, it's Becky G. Let's, let's be real. I mean, I don't have to say that. It's <laughs> like, Becky G. You have I, it's Becky G. And Trini, Zach, you know. Zach is like this. He's not. Out of all out of all characters, he's probably one that resembles the original source material the least. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. To a degree, I, I was I, I would agree with that. Okay. So yeah, I, I I'm fine with C then. I'm definitely fine with C. As long as as long as this man is over a fucking Neil Saban era Power Ranger, like I'm I'm chilling. His assist in Legacy Wars is OD. He oh, put him oh, over. <laughs> 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 Yo, we go the uppercut, the uppercut, yo, he goes straight at you. Sure, you can go straight to the chin, yo. Mad damn. You know about fighters, but they used to talk about Bardock B. 
That's uh, that's Zach boy. He come full screen, get you the <laughs> mad damage. Yeah, out here. All right, so this is the last. Well, not the last character because we have, still have one more. Whew, big one that I forgot all about. It's low key, Anubis Kruger. Now. To my surprise, I'm actually, I learned today that people considered him a Black Ranger. And I'm like, yeah. why? I thought, he was, you know, I thought he was blue. Right, he's, well, right, he's right. You know I, that picture, the cover? He's in there. Yeah, I know it. Uh, but but no, listen, what you're about. I literally always was under the impression, like, well, here's the thing. I was, I've been very educated for the most part, even when I was watching SPD back in the day. And even then, I considered him just an extra ranger. I never thought that right. he was like a specific color because once you start giving the rangers an actual name, like Shadow exactly, Ranger, yeah. right? Then they become <laughs> like their own special, you know, thing. And yeah. and that's that's what makes them that much more unique or whatever to the to the rest of the team. Um, so of course, obviously without a, a, a question or a shadow of a doubt, Anubis Kruger is absolutely going into the not really considered a black ranger, but because people considered him a black ranger, we're just, you know, obviously we're kind of, we're trying to just be nice to, you know, and consider everyone for every and, and everything. Right. And, uh, and yeah, like I would honestly, as far as Shadow Ranger is concerned, I would probably put him at the top of the not of really course. considered Black Ranger. Yeah, that's, not, that's, not, that's not even a question. Yeah. If this, that's if he actually counted, you would be S tier easily. Facts. Yeah. Facts. I don't doubt. That would be tough. Yeah. He th he'd be over Zach. And I love Zach. So speaking. Speaking of which, unless there's any other notes you want us to talk about Shadow Ranger, because this last character, see, I, I I reserved Adam and Carlos to talk about the all the good and the great and the, the terrible Wait for till Carlos. We get to Carlos. Wait till we Wait, get to yeah. Carlos. But Mister, and you know what? Shout out to Tech. He put Doctor Oliver. He didn't yes. even put. Oh, he didn't even put Tommy. That's Doctor Oliver. That's not Tommy. That's Doctor Oliver. <laughs> that's Doctor. That's the Doctor. That's Doctor Oliver. I had to. I had to. That's one hundred percent Doctor Oliver. <laughs> okay. 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 So, so right now, where I'm going to put him is a placeholder, and I'm going to say this now before anyone gets confused, okay? Because a placeholder means that it is up for discussion exactly where. Mr. Dr. Oliver, professor, greatest motherfucker in the history of Power Rangers, belongs. Okay? Placeholder. Now, I fully believe this guy... First of all, if you question wherever Tommy goes, we're doing Red Ranger, White Ranger, Green Ranger, your mama's Ranger, S tier by default. <laughs> okay, this is not look nostalgia goggles. I got glasses on because I can't see shit. Okay, but this is not nostalgia. We spit facts here in Power Rangers Academia. We don't lie. Okay, we 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 get out our nostalgia, but we back it up. Okay. Oh yeah. Doctor Oliver, Mister Jason David Frank. They had to bring this guy back. Why? Because Power Rangers was on a decline. Let's face it, Power Rangers on the decline. They needed some ratings, just like in wrestling, Legends Night. Well, it's better than fucking Legends Night. I can tell you that right now, because at least with Power Rangers, you say that you say word that Tommy's coming back. You best believe all of us are fucking turning on the TV for once, okay? Doctor Oliver starts off. They, he has like all like low key cinematic, cinematic scenes, just fighting shit. You don't even know what and he was himself, doing. Himself fighting himself. He, I, oh. he, he had some of the most iconic... Like, you thought his time was done in Mighty Morphin, in Zeo, <laughs> right? In Turbo. He had... Yeah, this man uh, was featured in two movies. This man was literally out here. Yeah, he's the quote. <laughs> he was out here. I may be old, but I can still pull it off, so right? Aren't you a little old for that, Tommy? <laughs> My man, literally... And he still... And he still got it, even during that time. And look, the only thing I didn't like about Tommy during this era was the fact that the long hair was gone, but that's it. 
My, I'm not. He wasn't the leader. That's what got to me. Like, he oh, no, no, no. See, I. Oh, so that's the thing. I appreciate. It would have been OD as fuck. But I, I appreciate yeah. that he at least took the mentor role. And he literally yeah, showed man. he showed his team what was up. He's like, look, I I led a team of dinosaur uh, dudes in the past, okay, and I know what it was like. He had he had relatable moments to even Trent, who again most voted character to be featured in Battle for the Grid this year, okay, eighty eight overall standing votes, eleven 1, hundred votes overall. You do the fucking math. That's a lot of that's a lot of votes just for Trent. And guess what? Relatable. To Dr. Oliver. Dr. Oliver's like, yo, man, I've been there. I was evil once before, too. But it's not all about this life. My man literally fought himself. How many times, Isaac? What forms? Three forms. Who you know fighting themselves in their best Power Ranger fucking suits? Can't name one because it never fucking happened. I don't think so. <laughs> they fought. We got the psychos. That, that, that's the closest it comes. We have like the we have like the, the A squad. Okay? But but again. Were they fighting themselves? No. My man had the... He, look, look, he, went, he went from having the Dragon's War to Saba, the White Tiger, okay? He had the fucking star, ugly-ass Zeo Zord, okay? He had the White Falcon. He gets... He gets... Brachio! Yo, I never gave a shit about no Brachiosaurus until my man said, Brachio! Yo, come on, son! Brachio! Like, this guy... This guy is the greatest... That is going. We're saying this. We don't even have to say all this shit. It's obvious. But I'm just backing up just so that y'all are aware. And I'm reminding y'all, this is why he belongs in the S tier. Now, I said placeholder. Would you put him over Zach is my next question. Hmm. <laughs> I think it is. Iconic <laughs> Black Rangers, uh, in terms of iconic, you know, how iconic the character itself is, I would say no. Overall, yes. Or just that series. If we're talking about just that, just Dino Thunder? Nah, nah, listen, tough. you also got to take consideration uh, the Ninja Steel episode, because this man came out here Ooh. full speed, yeah. invisible, <laughs> everybody. Hey, yo, yo. Zach can't do that. Speaking of invisible, that that was my thing with Tommy. I really wish he didn't, because I know it was the whole thing with New Zealand, and then he under, he wanted to stay with his family. And then he had those episodes where he was stuck in his his costume, and then like the other half of the episodes he was invisible. If it wasn't for that, he would still be the best. But like I I always was kind of put off. I didn't notice that when I was younger, but like watching it again, it kind of puts me off. Yeah, it was silly, but it was but like yeah. they 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 made it work. Like, oh, we had to mention it. Like, I, I'm just saying, like, I, he's still OD. I don't, mm -hmm. Like, I'll probably still put him over Zach, but, like, that that's the one thing that, that kind of... I will put him over him. Zach. I, I think he'll put him he over Zach. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be real. I'm going to be real. Initially, right, before I think thinking anything, I was going to say Dr. Oliver himself is A tier, right? <laughs> but that's before everything sank in because there's so much There's so much you can put in, right? Absolutely. Yeah, empty bucket. Yeah. And as that bucket kept filling up, he just keeps going higher, higher, and higher. I think with everything you said and everything yeah. that, you know, I, I just remembered, especially the Ninja Stew episode, I think he deserves to go above Zach. In terms of an icon as terms of as an iconic Black Ranger, yeah. he does not have Zach beat at all by any means, but as an overall character, right? For obvious reasons, you gotta give it to him. The only thing that lacks for Dr. Oliver, right? Well, the thing is Zach really kind of in terms of a mentor role, in terms of a leadership role, Zach didn't have as much as Dr. Oliver. Adam clearly had it for, for you know, as a black ranger, he clearly, clearly had it. Mm. Um, and it showed with that episode with Carlos and it showed in the Operation Overdrive episode. This guy was also leading a team. Mind you, there was one Power Ranger from the future and Adam was still the leader <laughs> at his age. Like, come on, B. And Dr. Oliver, okay, not Tommy, Dr. Oliver has better leadership qualities than Zach. He also is a better oh, yeah. teacher than Zach. He mm. had more experience. Zach was still... mm. so okay, Zach here has a, is a disadvantage. So I would put Dr. Oliver over Zach. Mm. Yeah, and, and just the, the whole thing with uh because I don't know Thunder, I believe I mean obviously it was a, like a reboot type of season. And I believe it was also an anniversary season. But like what better way to pull like honestly like 
you know, we can talk about, we can show on Megaforce all day. We know how trash Megaforce is. That is not how you do an anniversary season. Shout Out Thunder is a no. perfect example of how you do an anniversary season because yeah. they, they revisit all the things. You know, like, I, as much as I love the season before, they had, like, actual grown people get powers. They brought it back to the high school setting. And then on top of that, they brought somebody back from the most popular season, the first season, to be a mentor. Like, that, it doesn't get and, any and he, came, and it did. he came back, too. He made another appearance as the Black Dino yeah. Ranger. Zach is has yet to make another appearance. I want to also bring up a few a few points here, and I, and I want to definitely mm-hmm. bring up one of the highlighted chats right now. And this is a fact among oh, all yes. other things. Yeah, I posted. I posted in the chat. I posted what, in the chat. What other ranger do you know that Roundhouse <laughs> kicked an entire <laughs> dinosaur without Bro. being morphed? Play the clip. Play the clip. Where is the clip? Play the clip. It's in the, it's in the, the chat? Oh, in I our chat. It. Yeah, play the clip. Let me. I had it ready. I had it ready. Zach can't do that. Thank you. Thank you. Zach can't do that. Adam, arguably, Zach can't. Look at this. Ready? No has a fucking taste. (laughs) Yeah. Come on. I feel D. I dare somebody. I dare somebody try to say Zach can do that. Absolutely not. Zach would hip hop keto his ass back inside the building. (laughs) One more time. One more time. Hold on, let's also, hold on, wait, 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 let's break this shit down. Power Rangers Academia, this is how we do this. My man is in work clothes. <laughs> My man is literally, he got the corduroys on, belt, dress shirt. My man had the fucking dress shoes. Rolled up sleeves, yo, he, yo. Yo, Zach, yo, Zach. He didn't even, he didn't even got a rolly. He Zach, didn't even got a rolly. Zach out. always... He got, he he, Zach always stayed comfortable with the baggy is fucking clothes. My man straight, came straight off of work. He's probably on his lunch break right now. Motherfucking roundhouse. Yeah, kick to the to the tyranna. That's a real tyrannosaurus. Come on, man. I'm Who sorry, guys. <laughs> he 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 right below Adam. He right below Adam. Yeah, right below yeah. Adam. Ask nonetheless. Absolutely, though. absolutely. So look, look. Even even when you take into consideration Zach's Omega Ranger side of things right let's also i'm gonna i'm gonna bring this back this is the other point i want to talk about this is why this this is why these guys are here this is why these guys are here these guys are, this is why these guys are my friends okay They're, you have to be you have to be special to be on on like on like like to be shown off like this like i'm presenting to you two people that are they got it okay we might not always agree but that's okay that's healthy right my man, exactly. my man Isaac over here. Oh no, over here, right? I got a point to the in the right direction. Okay, he said one thing that I, I it just kind of just like oh, it's like boom, it just bah, right? Experience. He has way more experience over than Zach. And look, Zach, yes, he became a Mega Ranger in the comics, but my man Zach, after he went to the Peace Conference in the television series, he has he has yet to return, and we're gonna get to why. Adam, I believe, is still, even with Tommy fucking Oliver, Mr. Dr. Professor Oliver, I come back to pop your rating, and I do the job, I fight myself, I fight everybody, I get, you know, after all that, Adam is the definitive best black ranger of all time, and, we, and, and I think now is the time, this, that's a perfect segue Let's let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Do you guys agree with me, first of all? And if not, please, I I would love to talk about this right now. Adam? Is Adam the best Black Ranger in Power Rangers history? Yes. Of course. (laughs) Yes, he is. Yeah. He is. So, I will... so, 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 in the beginning, right, when Adam replaced Zach... I, I the the one of the one of the things that really stuck out was his 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 movie lines, right? His time in the <laughs> movies. I feel like his character definitely evolved after that for sure. For some weird, excuse me, for some weird reason, just after the frog shit, people just started loving this guy. Like, dude, like, wow, like that that's that's great. A frog. Some obvious things I definitely want to highlight. For those that might not have known or forgot, and see, this is something that I love talking about because you just, 
you have to you have to go back and you have to realize these things that actually took place are true. It is not it is not by all means nostalgic. So here's the thing. So when I went and went and I and I rewatched Space, okay, for some reason as a kid I never saw this episode on TV. But when I saw it on Netflix as an adult, you best believe I was fucking screaming because I did I did not know that Adam makes a return, his first return, right, in Power Rangers in space. Now let's do let's do the fucking math here, okay? It's not really math. We're not doing equations or anything like that. But last time we saw Adam was Zio. Well, Turbo. I guess you could say Turbo, right? Yeah. Half a Turbo, okay? But what was he? He was the green Turbo Ranger. Had to pass it on to Carlos. Okay, we'll get to Carlos. We'll get to Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. All right, we, like we're gonna get to Carlos, okay? So, Adam, he comes through. Carlos is having a bad. It's so funny how we are literally like this is the I could, I couldn't have planned this any better. The best to the worst, okay? And we're gonna explain it in full detail because it's so funny they have everything to do with each other. It's so funny. I really didn't realize that, right? So, in Power Rangers Space, not his season, by the way. After he was a Green Ranger twice, okay, my man is mind his own business, strolling along the fucking park. Shout out to Adam Park. That's his full name, right? He just happened to be in the neighborhood and saved Carlos's dumb head ass, okay? <laughs> he saved him. And it was like Adam, at this point in time, Adam was just like, whoa, like. Did he ever do like this much shit? Was he ever this cool before? Like you had to, that's when you started questioning shit. Like, yo, Adam is OD. So then the episode goes on and Carlos is doubting himself, right? As Carlos would, because he is who he is. And that's, we're going to, like I said, I promise we're going to get to him. He's in trash for a reason, right? This guy, okay. He is practicing with Carlos, trying to help him regain his confidence as a fucking Power Ranger, okay? Now, we're not talking, I'm going to whiff a tornado kick and break my back bad, okay? I'm talking, this guy literally accidentally hurt Cassie, okay? And accidents happen, but he took that just a little bit too far and, and showed his true bitch-made colors. As a Power Ranger, things happen, okay? And yes, with great power comes great responsibility. But at the end of the day, you cannot act like Carlos did. So what did Adam do? He stepped in as a true leader would. You know, it's funny. He he didn't even realize he was about to be a leader in the future, but, you know, we'll get to that too. My man, he whipped out the fucking broken morpher. He said, yo, Alpha, pretend this shit is broken, okay? He said, yo, Alpha, <laughs> I wish this shit still worked. You think it, do you think, ay, 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 Adam, no, what the fuck? You can't do that shit. You'll die. <laughs> That is the sum of what Alpha said. I will, in layman's terms, that is what Alpha said to Adam. So let me, so for those that are under a rock and for no reason, you did not see this episode, I'll tell you what happened. Sorry, but I have to do the spoilers. A fight ensues later in the episode. Carlos has the opportunity to really show what is really good with the Black Space Ranger. But... As you guys might remember, they weren't even really fighting like an actual villain. They were fighting like the putties of the Space yeah. series, okay? Carlos couldn't handle a few of those. And he was <laughs> literally about to get bodied by the Space Putties. Excuse me for not remembering what their the actual term was for those. I actually forget at the time of yeah. this. So what does Adam do without hesitation? First, he does a Dr. Oliver. He steps in. No suit, no more. Where's the Zeo crystal? Where's the turbo shit? He don't got it. I don't know. He must have been in the wrong pocket, wrong bag. All right? I don't know. <laughs> but he had the fucking broken power morpher. The broken one. The one that I don't remember why it was broken or whatever, but it was broken. Okay? They lost those powers a long time ago. You know what he fucking did without hesitation, even after knowing the risks? <laughs> he could have died. Adam, without hesitation. Mastodon! 
he yo <laughs> one of the yo. one of the greatest moments I, yo, I, yo, I was sweating. I'm sweating now. I was sweating when I was watching this episode because I was like, first time I ever seen it, Netflix. I was in college. I was watching this shit. I literally could not believe it. I was like, no way, no way. I was like, no. Way. I, was, I was like on the edge of my seat. Is he gonna fucking do it? They made sure that they slow mode this motherfucker. He had the, like, he had the whole shit. Master Don. They even gave him the the old classic OG. original OG yeah. like transition shit. There he is, Black Mighty Morphin fucking Power Ranger in space. Again, back to the math. How many seasons ago was that? This is the first time that's ever fucking happened. I feel like since like way into the future, Operation Over, or no, Forever Red, obviously with all the Red Rangers, but like think about the gap. You had a Mighty Morphin Power Ranger in space, son. And it was Adam <laughs> protecting and helping. And he almost died. He almost fucking died. And it took that just for Carlos to snap the fuck out of it and just do the job. Get it done. <laughs> That's one, that is one, that is like one of the most iconic things in Power Rangers history today. Not to mention, he comes back again, once again, in, in, in one of the, not even arguably, one of the worst seasons of all time, Operation Overdrive. You know, you know why Operation Overdrive is not the worst anymore? It's because Super Megaforce and Megaforce and Neo Saban pretty much exist now. But the real reason is because it had the Once a Ranger two-part special. That shit saved that fucking show, to be honest. Oh, yeah. My man mm -hmm. came back. They disrespected him without giving him the fucking actual original music. Facts. Okay. Facts. <laughs> but all disrespect aside... My man was shown to be the actual only Black Power Ranger leading a team of Rangers this motherfucker never worked with before. Look at those leadership skills. Imagine being introduced to a team of, of Rangers. Yo, I don't know you, but we got to get this shit going. I got the experience. I'm the veteran here, but he wasn't flexing. He was humble still. He was Adam Park. Yep. And he was, still, he was still doing all that in his weakest form. Yeah. What's up? And like, come on. He busted out the come on. Um, the... Come on. The, there's really nothing else to be said. He is. He was the leader, right? In his weakest form, right? Because yeah. canon wise, the Zeo Crystal is obviously a lot more powerful than than uh, Power Coin. So he wasn't even, and he he wasn't even as full like max potential yet, and he was still scraping everybody. Mm. Mm hmm. I just come on, son. <laughs> and then like, he put on the he put on the defender vest for fun. He put it on for like five seconds just, yeah. <laughs> just to flex. My man he just kept it moving. <laughs> yep, he had something that a lot of the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers never got a chance to wear some kind of shield. I mean, like Jay soon got to wear it. Zach wore it. Adam didn't even wear the original dragon shield, man. The the, the rest of the, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, they didn't, get, they didn't get that kind of love. They didn't get that kind of shine. My man Adam literally got his own in Operation Overdrive for a two-part special. And you know what's for funny? two seconds. <laughs> yeah, right, for two seconds. But I, I also remember in that uh, two-part special, I remember there was a point where the Operation Overdrive Rangers, oh, man. <laughs> liter literally, like Adam straight up told him, told them again, like, Ad like, why is Adam that guy that has to step in and help y'all realize who the fuck you are, what powers you're responsible with, and what the fuck you're supposed to be doing? This guy literally said, listen, you got this, this, this might be your season, but I got this because clearly y'all don't. He literally pulled he pulled a John Cena to Roman Reigns when Ro when they were trying to really shove Roman Reigns in our face when you know a lot of people wasn't having it they had they had to call up John Cena just so so he could disrespect Roman Reigns and for the one on one feud that they had why Adam is that Adam is that dude that constantly he is he is showing time and time again that every time he's gonna come back he's about to he's about to embarrass somebody he is he is that dude he's one of the greatest of all time. One of the greatest. He literally had to embarrass the Operation Overdrive more because guess what? That show was already trash to begin with. He, he, had, to, he had to embarrass them more just to say, yo, I got this. I'm going to lead a team of Rangers from 
the past before you guys and the future way after all of us and we're gonna get the job done it took all that shit man it took all that shit i see you guys you guys want to you guys want to watch the, the adam clip when he's saving carlos <laughs> Well, yeah. fun. I mean, again, that's also not forget, you know, he's a frog. Ha. So yeah. even Adam as a black ninja, OD. All right. And if so, it means, yo, actually to, to say what you're saying, come on. to what you're saying, you can talk bro. about that, yeah. Hey, Koga, thanks for the raid. I appreciate I didn't, I even know you were streaming. Thank you so much. Hope the stream went well. But yo, dude, you were saying the frog, right? Tell me how Adam's the only one that got kissed on the cheek by Dulce, oh. bro. <laughs> that, that gives him an extra 10 points Kiss for the on, prince man. He's the prince That's pretty good. For the prince He had the worst yeah. animal and he <laughs> But he's the one who ended up with the girl at the end Come on Oh man. my he's god That's <laughs> fire Yeah I didn't even realize that That's hilarious Yo You, I, I, you know what uh, a, a, little, a little bit of trivia This is like a side note uh, Just another cherry on top for Adam Did you know that there was actually a potential love interest setup in the comics that he had with Scorpina. Mm -hmm. Sure, y'all didn't know that, but that's why you gotta read the comics. I'm not gonna say exactly what happened, but y'all gotta see for yourself. So basically, guys, they ended up on Jerry Springer, but um, <laughs> you know, we'll just keep it at that. Right. So, all right. So. Did they, is, is there anything that I might have missed I left out? Y'all want to touch up on Adam? Give your freaking personal anecdotes? Because look, man, I I love hearing about how great Adam is. I love it. I remember when I, first, I, remember when I was first talking to Ultimizer, and he was talking about the best Black Rangers, and he brought up Adam. At the time, I didn't even have time to think, so I'm over here questioning it. And I'm just, like, going through, like, the list in my head. At the time, I think we were up to... Um, I think we were up to... Oh, it was after Samurai. I think we were... Actually, I think we were up to Samurai when I was talking to Ultimizer about that. And, um, no, 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 I'm so, what the hell am I talking about? That was like two years ago. So, whatever. We're talking about it, and I'm over here like, damn, I really couldn't put anybody above Adam. I really couldn't put anybody above Adam. Um, and now, you know, as the, when the comics came out, the game, uh, well, Legacy Wars was out, um, and I watched the seasons over again. And then when that episode for Space Hey, I remember it as a kid, but I didn't, again, it didn't hit the way it did when I was an adult, right? It hit different as an adult. Yes. Because you really got to see, like, yo, he was Green Ranger twice. Nobody really remember. well. He was. Nobody, remember, nobody really remembers him for um, um, Turbo Green. Nobody remember him for Green Zeo and Black uh, um, Mighty, Mighty Morphin. Morphin. Mm -hmm. But he was, out of the three new characters that came in to replace the... Uh, um, you know, Jason, Trini, and um, Zach, he was the best one. <laughs> Free. He, he was easily the best one. He was way better than Rocky, and he was better than Aisha. Um, he, he was the best character. And the thing is, I think he actually had more than just one um, episode dedicated to him. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah he did. You know, a, a lot of characters only get one episode. He got more than that. Like. You guys realize he had seasons of character growth overall, and it was <laughs> and it was done in a very quick fashion. Like, you know, if you want to talk about greatest leaders, obviously Tommy's up there. Adam is like right has to be right below him. Oh yeah, I, yeah. Can't, I can't I I I can't think of he got the experience now. He is wiser. I mean, you can put, you can put, it'll be probably in no specific order. It'll be Adam, uh, Dog, and Adam. He said Adam, Dog, and Adam. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm sorry. John, Tommy, Dog, and I press late, guys. It's fucking 2.32 a.m. here. Okay, okay sorry. <laughs> so, so, yeah. Like, I would, I would put, you know, Tommy, Dog, and Adam as top three, like, leaders. Like, uh, I, I, at least I feel. Okay. Because Adam, Adam, Adam is definitely up there. He has to be. Has to be. As he, he proved himself. He went from, a, you know, supporting uh, uh, help Right for yeah. um, main team, part of the squad. To now, this is my squad. Absolutely. Yep. I totally agree. Yo, Omega that. Black, Omega Black, you need to show me your secret, man. I don't know how you do it, staying awake uh, really late. 
Yes, and I saw that too. I mean, outside, out, obviously outside of Power Rangers, mm-hmm. this guy is already a legend. Yep. In it's like, in itself. like, yo, like, look, and, and see, and that's, I would have spent another 20 minutes just talking yes. about all these things. Yeah, if we're talking about that, it's not even fair. And that's why you yeah. can't. That's why, that's why, that's why when, when, when Isaac was like, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to consider like how they are outside the show too. Yeah. Nah, because if that's the case, Adam belongs in SSS yeah. plus yeah. tier yeah. above I everybody. Mean, he's consideration too. He still represents. Does that, yeah. that Still represents. Like, he signed yeah. my Mastodon coin, guys. Like this, this, yeah, this guy's. Yeah. I gotta pull. Because honestly, rocking. I mean, just for, just for personal bias, like let's just say if I met a ranger and they were assholes to me, that's where you're gonna take off points. I can't, I can't help it. It's just gonna happen. Ashley. I will not be able to look at it straight. So, oh, man. Ashley, obviously, yeah, uh, Ashley, look, guys, guys, I right, look, Ashley misspelled my name, but you know what? It's okay. I forgive her because she's sending me a corrected. You know, I, I'll print with the corrected name. Okay, so it's fine. Ashley was definitely up there, top three Yellow Rangers. We're not going to talk about in this episode. But you see, look at that, yo. Come on. Oh, you know damn well. He, he go away, like, you You loved Adam. Hey. You met you, you met him? Yes. You're like, oh, you know what? He's even better now. You, you, you have that bias now. No matter what, you're always going to have that bias. I mean, I have a bias. Like my, okay, my bias is so strong that I will never forget why he is the best. Like, yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> like I'll never forget. So here yes. I will. I will. Uh, I'm gonna hide the. Um, I'm gonna hide the tier list for a second, so I could find that the clip of him saving Carlos. So while right. I do that, y'all can please talk about Carlos. Why? He, why is he in trash? We did. Oh, please. Okay. Oh, First man. of all, that 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 episode you just mentioned. Yes. That whole entire episode, which was about him, they didn't even give Carlos an episode where he gets to shine. Right, they gave you an episode of <laughs> Carlos, you know, showing you why he sucks. <laughs> he got his feelings hurt. He got a, he got his feelings hurt. Okay, and also let's not forget, he broke one of the most important rules about being a ranger, and that is keeping your identity a secret. He couldn't even do that. Nope, couldn't. So for anybody that has not watched Space, there was a little girl, right? <laughs> A uh, little girl that Carlos really did not really like because she was annoying. She found out his true identity, the the Black Ranger's identity. He couldn't keep it a secret. He even told he even told her like, "Yo, this is me." He didn't tell Carlos was. He's not even loyal to the to the squad. He didn't even tell the team, "Yo, she knows who I am." Like she didn't even say he kept it a secret this whole time. You should you shouldn't do that to your best friends. No, nope. you're telling the truth. But look, she she knows who I am now. So we gotta, you know, we gotta be careful around her, or we can't tell her too much. Or how do I make her forget? How do I make her not say anything? He can't even do that. And also, that same girl that 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 found out, you know, that she, he is the Black Ranger. He almost killed her. <laughs> he almost oh, killed her. Oh, I got. Okay, I'm sorry. I gotta get that. Oh, I gotta get that image. I gotta he get that. He almost killed her. I got all intents and purposes, she should be dead. He he took her to outer space with no space suit. Hold on, I'm gonna and get you guys this visual. I'm not Man, making it up, guys. Where is this picture? Oh, there it is. I he is putting kids the other day. He is putting kids. Like, the... Come on, look at that, guys. <laughs> guys, God, come on. How is this guy not the worst? <laughs> I could have. <laughs> <man. laughs> Is that somebody who wants babysitting the kids? He's supposed to be saving the world. Hey. Instead, this is what he's doing. The little girl was like, hey, Carlos, I hope you can help me. I want to be Rose from Titanic. Can we do that in outer space? And that's what he, with no no safety gear, nothing, no oxygen. She's just doing that in outer space. Bro. Come on. That was the last time you ever saw Lil Susie. I wonder why. I'm trying to hate, I hate to say it. She probably didn't even make it back after this. She probably, (laughs) dude, she's probably floating in the abyss of space right now. (laughs) Bro, you know? Bro, we know she's gonna be the next astronomer, so she's probably gonna show up in the next season. Oh, the next she, she's Yo, in space. imagine! She never came back. She never came back. That's the only way to redeem Carlos. Have that's how you uh, give him his arc. You have this little girl <laughs> become the next villain, and Carlos is the only one that is able to defeat her without Adam's help, oh, without okay. Andros, without nobody. Carlos, there is. He is the Black Ranger, so he's like, you know what? I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna breathe. I'm, I can breathe through this thing. I'm okay. Her nah, her that's mom's not gonna see her crazy. again. That's really yo. That's really what he did, and that's completely fucked up. 
So not only is Carlos a bitch. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. And then uh, something else too that kind of. You want to talk about Magna Defender being a villain? Look. He was, he was a villain in disguise. I, I want to hear it, yo. I want to hear it. Villain in disguise. And let's, let's also not forget, yo, his his weapon. So anytime he called it out, guys, he... <laughs> I, I, I gave Uchi the clip. He was so irrelevant that they skipped him when everybody else was showing off their weapons. And then those episodes, you know, where they, where they um, get their weapons and they put them, you know, they, they put them all together, they fuse the weapons to make one giant weapon. The way he says his weapon's name is so cringy. Lunar Lance, like, come on, man. I got you. It's right up. It's right here. Look, look at this. Look, watch this, guys. Watch this. Where is it? Wait, what? What time is it at? Wait, so extra. It's coming up. It's coming up. It's coming up. Here it comes. <laughs> they didn't even let they, him say. They skipped him. They skipped him. <laughs> yeah, yeah that was not long. He said, "Let's get to work." They said, he, they he's not him. good too. Is this where? Is this where he yeah. says "quadro blaster"? Look, that and again, the, what I just found out today, and I showed Uchi a technique before we went live. This guy does not remember the season he was in. Oh, oh. yep, you did show us. Okay. Well, okay, look, that counts as outside shit, to be honest. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Cause, okay, look, he was still Carlos. Like, you know, you forgot what season you were in. Like, the, he's the he's the act. That's Carlos, okay? That's not Roger Velasco. That's Carlos. What? Wait, what time? What time? Okay, says. What time frame? So I can skip to it? What was it? What was it? Um... Uh, I'll I'll show that. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is like the proof. I'll I'll, I'll find I'll find it. You can. You can... Uh, why are you doing that? I was gonna say a quick thing too. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Like oh, I think something else about Carlos is that you guys might think we're over exaggerating, but like. Okay, got it. It's three thirty-seven. Sorry, sorry. No. no, finish finish your thought though. Finish your thought. Tech. Oh, but uh, space is like obviously you know. The best season. The best like, season. You know, Free. It's the best season. Free. And on top of being the best season, it probably has the best cast. <laughs> that's the that's more debatable, like the best cast. Yeah. And like all the rest of the Rangers are so OD and they're so they're so dope. And then <laughs> Carlos is really the only character in space that's kinda ass. <laughs> so that like magnifies it. <laughs> like everybody else is so cool and then you have Carlos. Yeah. Like to so, his, yeah, that's that's another thing too. To his credit, Man. the only thing was his hair. He had great hair. Great that's it. Now nah, remember, he, he got he got he got it. Uh, he got it cut. And well, yeah, when they came back, and I was mad. I was like, yeah, what? Cut. I was yo as a kid, I was mad. I was like, why? He, he he tried to be a heel, yo. That's what happened. So he you know he shaved his head, tried to be a heel, it didn't work. He gave him a little edge, yeah, but he so still tried at the end of the day. So wait, what was the time frame again? Sorry, two thirty seven. Okay, so we're gonna see this example. So basically, the puppet asked him, right, what's his favorite episodes from Turbo and in and in space. Okay. He forgot what see what his season was called. Let's hear this. All let's right. let's hear it. Hold on. Turbo and Lost in Space. It was was. Oh hell nah, <laughs> dog. Come on. My man said Lost in Space. That's Come a on. whole different show, Hold bro. The Man had no idea what he was doing up there. He's probably referring to the girl vampire. that they, that Look never came back. So cool. uh, who doesn't want to be a vampire, <laughs> right? Well, so yeah, Carlos, Carlos, Carlos account on uh, Turbo and Lost in Space. Oh, nah, 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 nah. We have to slow that down because that's so unacceptable. Like. That's what exactly why he's never been in an anniversary episode. He does not remember <laughs> what color he was. He does not remember what his character name was. He does not remember the name of the season. You can, yo, I, I cannot, I cannot. That's disrespectful to the best season. And you were in it. That's the worst part. 
That's yeah. It's not even like Adam doesn't forget. Adam don't forget. Yeah. (laughs) And with that, guys, we are going to at least show y'all. This is the this is the special nice way to wrap up this tier list, right? And we are going to show you guys the exact scene. And, I, and I've shown this in the past, I believe, but you know what? It never get it. It, it always it only gets better the more you watch it. Okay, this is where Adam literally steps in, saves Carlos' dumb head ass, and almost risks his life. Look! Look at look! Look how fucking broken that morpher is. Yeah, that, that, that morpher is. That, that shit. Man, he got it yeah, he never forgets. Right. He's proud to be a ranger. He keeps I'm keeping that on me all the time. I remember. When the when the um, command center collapsed, Th- this is where I came from. This is who I am. Mm-hmm. All right, bro. Carlos left his, his morpher at the uh, the ship, right? Mm-hmm. I don't remember what happened. I, don't I, don't I remember what happened. Episode, I think he left his morpher at Listen, the Astro ship. This episode, you know, look, who cares what's going on with Carlos? Adam is on the screen. <laughs> that's right? what I'm saying. No, I'm saying that's the point. Like, Carl- so. Carlos always has that thing on him. Carlos, he was an active ranger. Didn't even have his morpher. That's crazy. You're right. You're right. He didn't even have his shit. He's a, he's over here, the active ranger. Dude. Damn. Exactly. Like, the more you dissect it, the worse Carlos is, the more Adam gets more props. Like, I just, you know, my man had, like, the schoolboy drip low key, like, the, the casual <laughs> weekend fucking get up. And this is, yo, honestly, this is, like, my favorite Adam, like, like the way he looked because my man had the hair pulled back in a Ooh. fucking bun, son. Like, <laughs> and we'll never see that again because I yeah, like he he so. don't like the long hair. I've heard him say it like in interviews that like, he's like, ah, dude, I hate the long hair, bro. That's why I got rid of it, whatever. Ah, uh, but here it is. Look, okay, look where Carlos is on the fucking floor. <laughs> it's sunny as hell outside. This guy got a whole sweater on, yo. Come on, dude. <laughs> Yo, so does Adam. Look, look, he had, nah, a, nah. He had a two-piece. It could be, it could be nah, 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 listen, he was just came. He's finished working out. He just finished working out. He's, he's prepared for that. Not Carlos. Carlos over here. My, that's another thing, too. Carlos is, is being trained, and he doesn't even have the right, like, clothes for it. Like, come on, B. Uh, yo, look at, look at the look on Adam's face, too. Look at him, Like, he's yo. ready. He's showing he's no determined. fear. Bro. No, so Carlos out here about to cry. This dude, Adam, he he knows he can take on all of them. And he is not scared. He's like, I'm not going to tuck it in. That's not me. That's Absolutely not okay. Not. That's what he's saying. I'm making that shit an emote. I'm literally going to fucking you. get this shit right here. Boom. That's it, yo. See, look at Alpha reminding him yet again. It's too big of a risk. Ay, ay, ay. Look at that shit. One more time <laughs> for the Alpha. Look at the morpher like, no. Right. Like, like, nah. like, he's like, it's like, I have to. What do you have to do? Alpha, leave me alone. <laughs> He's telling Adam what to do. The guy, the guy who was captured, right? The guy who sucks is telling Adam what to do. My, Adam, don't do it. He, Come he on. Said, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Adam, bro. <laughs> he li- yo, Carlos is such a bitch. Oh my god. <laughs> like, guys, I'm gonna try my best not to fucking pause it, but yo." <laughs> He like just, just he's there's no. This fear. moment right here is uh, guys. You guys also need to understand. This right here is a huge moment in Power Rangers history, Staple. not just in Staple. space. This right here has to yeah. go down as easily top three best Ooh. moments. Oh yeah, in the history of the series. Facts. I'm so this episode could have literally been a two parter. It should have been. been. It should have been. been. I mean, space was already back. That space already back as it is. That's true. It was an anniversary. It was five year anniversary. So space had the the most guy on crossover episodes. Yeah. All right, here we go. (laughs) Watch the slow motion. Watch the slow motion. The pullback. Ah. Oh. This fucking that's guy! OD. That's OD. That's OD. He... <laughs> my, yo, honestly, in my opinion, that's the best morph of all time. I don't care what nobody says. That's oh, the, the best pa- dude. Of all time. All day. Of all time. All day. The one that comes second. The one that comes second is the white. Uh, the white ranger Tommy one. 
where he just does some crazy shit with his arms. This one right here, though, and the, the significance, the Dude. motion, the moment, the emotion, Dude. the reasoning behind that morph. <laughs> Like, come on, yo! It was the, it's the best morph <laughs> of all time. Look, all time, dude. Like, I know y'all getting crazy right now. That was, right there. He Can was, we see that one more time, Mochi? I'm sorry. Right, absolutely, okay. you ain't gotta add, dude. <laughs> I on, got. I, I I am here to serve. <laughs> I should know. I, I you ain't gotta ask gotcha. me twice, bro. Look at like you you heard it. You heard it in his like every good morph. You had to have the conviction behind when you, it's more it's he, like, he said he said right there, it sounded it's like he never lost his touch absolutely absolutely right here boom oh wait a little bit more further back right here Adam Joe <laughs> what a fucking look at this bitch look at this fucking guy you know what I'm, I'm I am so close to just making below the trash what's below the trash Earth tier fucking <laughs> you're visiting Godzilla like in the fucking Earth shit like all right here we go. Oof. That's enough. Ah! You saw his morpher though, it was clean. His Dude, morpher. They had his to morpher recycle the last shit, but it was fire. They Who had cared? to. They had to. They I had mean, to. that would have been. They yeah, had they had to. to. That's, that's they, had to. they had to. They had to. They definitely had to. They made it even better that they recycled. They did, yeah. It had like that that vintage touch, of course. Yes. <sighs> yeah, exactly. Look at this. Look at this. Look, 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 look. Look at this. Look, okay. Look how I paused it. No intention. But he is looking back at fucking Carlos right now. And he is like, don't worry, dude. I'm going to do mean, your job for you. Look, we can't, pr we can't just give praise to Adam because we have not said anything negative. The worst thing Adam did was pick Carlos as his replacement. Oh. <laughs> Wait, he didn't have a choice, though. That's not his fault. That's actually not his fault, to be honest. If you he think, had to be replaced, but he chose Carlos. He didn't choose Carlos. Carlos was sure. there, and I I really don't Tommy, think he was in his position. Tommy chose he was he just there. there. It was, he was there, Cat bro. chose Cassie. Adam chose Carlos. I, I Honestly, I'm not even going to. I mean, he okay. Realized he messed up. This was his mistake to fix. This was his mistake to fix. That's why he popped up here. He knew what he had to do. It was convenient. Honestly, yes. I just think he might have just noticed the nice ass hair that he had, and that's about it. He was that's like, it? damn, this guy must fucking shampoo and condition like two times a day. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, I, I, okay, I hope that. Okay, Let, let's go with that. He only chose Carlos because Tommy chose TJ first. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, we'll go with that. Oh, yeah. We'll so. go with that. Yes. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Look, look at, look at how he has to protect. Look at, look at Carlos. He is so scared. He is holding his arm, son. Look at that shit. Like Vegeta. Oh, oh, no. Get out of here. Adam, but you'll be destroyed. I'm okay. <laughs> 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 what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that what? Old ass villains the best. That shit was fucking trash. Look at, look at this shit. Look at this battle. That's the guy you got, you got this is this. Ah, that was what was holding Carlos back. Ah. So that's what just talked to now. Look at it. So look at you Carlos face. And look, Carlos listened. Look at how far he oh, ran. Bro. Oh my god. Look at how far oh, this is. Look at his sprinting. He was running for his fucking life. Oh, Look at them sprints. You saw the strides? Bro. Damn this guy. Yo, this guy sucks, yo. Carlos. This guy is trash. It's despicable. <laughs> that's that's crazy. Like that's actually crazy. Knowing Look, look, look. Carlos yeah. Carlos was aware of what was going on. He knew that Adam was taking a huge risk. He said he will be destroyed and he still allowed him to fucking do it. Like throughout all of this time, Adam could have been dead. Like who we don't know the effects of the fucking power morpher. That shit could have on 
on point. Frame one, Macedon, boom, could have died. Shot. If Adam wasn't there also, Carlos would have died. Fact. Or kidnapped or something. They would have like, been down to five Rangers come on. with Zane. Come on. He is a lifesaver. Truly. Even though this was his mistake. Yep. So. <laughs> and this is, this is the big wake-up moment, huh? Look at those solid punches. Look at these solid Again, punches, bro. This is his weakest form. His weakest form, and he's putting in work. Throwing hands. Literally. Sure. Yeah. That block was clean. Just like old times. Uh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> bro, like... <sighs> this is... He should have you should have put tape on that morpher. It would have kept him alive. <laughs> put some tape. Put some tape on there, yo. Glue that shit together at least. Yo, get out. Go for it. Fucking glue. Holy <laughs> shit. All right. Would explode for real. He put some glue on it. <laughs> oh, yo, you gotta love the name of this video right here. Adam, don't do it. Cause he know damn well Carlos sound like a fool. Bro, you're so right. He didn't even have his morpher with him. Look. Didn't. Yeah, because they bought it through them. I, I, I watched this not too long ago. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> left it there because he quit. He left. He was about to go be a civilian. Yeah. That's what happened. Right, right, yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah. I, I think we proved our, our point here. We don't have to further watch the rest of this. You guys literally, <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's. It's formulaic at this point. He's gonna fucking he is, the, save the day. he is the first ranger too to actually like quit because he felt like he couldn't do the job. Yeah. Everybody else, all the other characters quit because either injury or because they, they had other interests, pursuing other interests, or they were dead. That is true. This guy was like, well, no, I, mean, I can't do this. Like, they, I'm not they, cut they, out to do the job. I cannot. I'm not cut out to do the job. I suck. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna live my life. I, that's it. I'm just gonna be a regular civilian. I'm gonna go back to school. I'm gonna find myself a nine to five. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. And you know what? I'm gonna leave them hanging. I'm gonna I'm gonna let them hire somebody new because I, you know they're not really my friends. He was a, he always had his own agenda. Never looked out for them. I can see Carlos definitely working. When did retail. Carlos? When did Carlos ever save them? Never. 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 If, if Adam never came, who knows? Maybe he would have never came back. Well, yo, if I was Andros, I'd be like, yo. I mean, if Adam never came, back, Adam never came. Carlos would have just been. A civilian Andrew, Andrew's like, yo, listen, you could join my squad because we don't need this dude. Yo, uh, <laughs> no. wait, 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 wait. Imagine if that's how they wrote Adam in to just be like a permanent role. <laughs> Holy fuck. I, on, okay, hear me out. At that point, okay, this is alternate timeline. I will write this comic myself, okay? If that <laughs> shit happened, do you realize... Carlos would become the ultimate Rocky, and <laughs> like he would it's worse than Rocky. Worse than exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. Worse than Rocky, bro. <laughs> to literally. At least oh, Rocky nah. was injured. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess. Even if he went out like a complete lame, but like at least he he had an excuse. <laughs> he was. Yeah. Carlos wouldn't have had an excuse. <laughs> but but dude, but look what that did to his career, man. Like. Now he's sitting he's sitting in on panels he wasn't even fucking invited to. And trying to and trying to be disruptive and oh, be like, yo, you were no, speaking Speaking of that, when he tried to advertise his panel after, the way he got people to come was by saying Adam's gonna be there. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> you, know, you remember OG? Yes. He was like, he's like, Oh yeah, Johnny Blocker be there. <laughs> Yeah, like, oh, guys, I have a panel at at, at six o'clock. Y'all welcome to join. Crickets. Oh, and uh, Johnny's gonna be there. Everybody getting up, ready to get in line early. Like, literally, that, that's not even a joke. That literally happened. That's literally how it happened, bro. <laughs> no more. I'm thinking about this. Imagine. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Yo, check this. Yo, shit do out. they have? Do they have the panel for, with uh, with with them? Do they have it online? Oh, I don't know. Because there's no way anybody asked. Rocky questions over Adam. I would literally, if you go in there, you're gonna ask Johnny a question. Absolutely. That's just the way it is. I don't give a fuck what Steve Cardenas has to say. I don't care what's going through his mind. Big dude, Johnny is a legend. Mm hmm. Yo. Yes. The more I think about that scene, like, okay, so you know how Cassie was about to about to throw Carlos's morpher back. Imagine if she threw it to Adam. 
oh. instead. Holy. Yes. In another fucking timeline, bro. I'm telling you. Adam becomes the black in space fucking Power Ranger, bro. Like, yo. Oh, let's get out the what? Wait, 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 wait. But, like, yo, it gets better. It gets better because because what actually happens, right, is he's at this moment in time. Hold on, let me go back to it so I could have the, I can show no, you guys the visual. Hold listen, on. before before I leave, before I leave, because it's 3 a.m. for me. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. So, no, it's okay. Guys, I just want to put something in y'all heads, all right? Let's just say, there, let's just say there's a next, you know, the next online ma major for grid, right? Top, t top eight just ended, grand finals just ended, right? A video package come up and you hear Adam's voice. <laughs> you hear his voice before they show him the character. Guys, just think about how crazy that would be, right? Like I actually might just start crying. I will, I will pop off. I will. I'll probably just start crying. I'll be stupid. I will. Uh, I'll go crazy. Like that. That it, it, if he if he ever makes it in, that's the way it has to be done. Uh... There's, there is no way anybody. We won't be happy that Ninja Adam is in the game if they do not get Johnny to do the voice. Oh you no! No, they, okay. no 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 no! Listen, listen, listen. You're, not, you're not you're not putting that character in grid. You, He's not going to be acquired or nothing. It, you have to. It is a requirement. It is a requirement. I would I would be okay with Ninja Adam not being in the game if they say, "Hey, we can't get him to do the voice." I'll accept. You know what? I I agree that. full full heartedly. <laughs> I will continue to live in a dream and wishing until that fulfillment is met. I don't want them. You, it is just like how they got Dan Southworth to come back as Eric Myers in the game for Quantum Ranger. I wouldn't have wanted Quantum Ranger in any other way. I wouldn't have imagined him in any other way. Much like how they had Jason David Frank, also St. John, green and red in the fucking game. If you bring in Adam... Okay, and look, 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 look. Okay, I'm not going to reveal anything, obviously, right? But I can tell you that the developers even want this guy in the fucking game. They said that he belongs in the fucking game. Ever oh, yeah. since Legacy Wars, it's almost as if, like, everybody, everybody unanimous, right. unanimously was like, are you fucking serious? Why is he not in Battle for the Grid? Adam you remember belongs. When the quantum trailer, where he yes. said, where, where, where the quantum trailer is like, foolishness, no Lord yeah. said, <laughs> foolishness. Yo, listen, they, they have to introduce Adam the same way if he makes it into the game. All right. This guy, Adam, is one of the goats. It's, I mean, you know, when the game first came, when the game first came out, there was no voice acting, nothing. You know, Jason wasn't, Jason was in the game, but he was, there, there was no um, Austin as a voice actor. There was no Jason David Frank and voice actor. They put, they patched that in, right? But we had with Ninja Adam, if he makes it into the game, he has to have the voice. The trailer has to be done right. That will be the biggest. I'm, I'll be more excited for that, knowing that they got Johnny as uh, you know back as an actor that's the next return he has to make the next return johnny young Bosch has to make to power rangers is in battle for the grid there's no other way oh, literally man. no other way i'm fucking, that's all that's left dude i'm tearing up just thinking about it to be honest that's all that's left. <laughs> like holy shit like oh my god <laughs> that yo so how would you want it which would, would you want the trailer to be like, some shit was happening and the screen goes black and you just hear it's morphin top and it's him saying it and then boom it's just fucking sign or him saying or you know like oh, oh I'm, I'm a frog yeah i'm a frog, <laughs> yeah, I'm saying, I'm a frog. <laughs> oh my god okay yeah, whatever it, whatever no, no. Well, what was it what, what was it say when he transformed to ninjas or do they still say it's morphin time that first one yes. is sign up. are they i think they said well the, at, at at certain points they said it's morphin time and then they then there was other times where they said uh we need ninja power now or some shit like that yeah, or, or like, yeah it sounded like it, oh, yeah. and, he said like, and honestly even if they don't give him like any voice like actual like you know sayings like any lines just his you know him just yelling out yeah you know just something like that knowing that it's him <laughs> oh god and i'll be okay because his are pretty iconic too i swear obviously look i okay I, what they could do is go the quantum approach and give him lines from other characters and put them in, in, in the game. You know, talking about this literally makes me want... Okay, I you know how I said Rita is like my number one? No, it's Adam. 
<laughs> I, I I need this to happen now because in in the in the in the perfect world best situation we're all on all in an offline event it's a major I'm commentating with Frankie or whoever and it's the top eight the finals is done fear fucking wins the tournament and then <laughs> and then literally like they're like okay we have an announcement to make and I don't even know what it is because I'm gonna be real. I know I knew like the last like three fucking big announcements before everybody. Okay? So I had that shit ready. And then I was like, okay, I had to be quiet. But I for for this one character, I don't wanna know. I wanna know with all of you guys because I I'm telling you, I will I will cry. I will I will literally cry, dude. I will be so happy that tears will forcefully come out of my fucking face. Like it will be a great day. I will, I will, I will have to get off the mic. I will hug everybody. There will be like, yo, Uchi left, guys. Like, like, oh man, like it. It will be one of the greatest days in 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 life, in history, not just in the game, in life. Yeah. But yeah, Cassie should have definitely threw the fucking more for a Adam. <laughs> and if he did, imagine if the fucking black in space fused with his fucking mastodon shit. OD, but yeah, I know Isaac has to go, so. <laughs>